Ha 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 ha! Ha ha ha! Hello! How's everyone? How's everyone doing? My internet did come back. Yes. Really late for some reason. You're so excited. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so bad because there's so many people here that are actually super excited for Pokemon Legends Arceus and I'm sitting here like ooh <laughs> Oh dear. Woo woo woo. Yeah, woo. Hypers. Yeah. I am ready to play this video game. Cool, I can disable autosave. Hi Shen, hope you have a fun stream. Thanks, <laughs> Thanks. for always brightening up my day with your content. Aero love, aero love, aero love. Happy five months, Shen. Which baby we getting? Well, you see. Welcome to my realm, located beyond both time and space. It is well that thou art here. I am that which humans call Arceus. Oh shit, we're talking to God. Finally. So I know that a Badoof can kill me in this game, but can I kill a Badoof? Now I wish to know thine appearance. <laughs> okay. Yeah, sure. What is thy name? Fucking Arceus just pulls out, uh, <laughs> hold on, just pulls out a fucking, uh, <laughs> just a, pulls out a fucking keyboard. Aero gasp. Voxer. Soon thou shalt find thyself in a world strange to thee. A world inhabited by wondrous creatures that humans call- This is ominous as fuck, dude. Voxer. Aero spin. Thanks for the fight. Thank you for all the resos. Seek out all Pokemon and thou shalt find me once more. Alright, God. This dude talk like, I am a shadow of the true self. What? Well, wait, this is a fucking isekai? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's isekai Pokemon! Well, this is just no! Arceus, don't touch the phone! I knew it! Arceus just wants to see if we have games on our phones!
just spoke with God, no big deal. Okay. <laughs> no more mobile games. Wake up! Ah, oh, do wake up, won't you? Ah. Oh. Are you alive, my boy? Hello. Who the fuck are you and why do you look like that? Oh, okay. Back in my day, we didn't have phones. Arceus. You gave me quite the shock falling from the sky like that. But <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't get over how ass this game looks. It's okay, it's fine. But thank goodness, you seem unharmed. Why, this is Prelude Beach, of course. Do you mean that the shock of your falls? Like time. <laughs> yeah. I would say clothing is unusual. You wouldn't have happened to be in Kindos in these parts, would you? I... I doubt it. Can't believe Arki has killed us after seeing the hentai in the film The Gallery. <laughs> I see, you seem to be in a bit of a pickle. But I offer some directions. Do you have uh, somewhere around here you could stay? No, nowhere. So you don't know anyone here, and you don't even know where to spend the night. God, the shading is so bad. It looks so bad. Well, this is a proper pickle indeed. Are you quite sure you'll be able to survive? Somehow, I guess. I see. Well, no gentleman would abandon a person in such need. Oh my, I completely forgotten. I had just caught up to these three runaway Pokemon when you tumble out of the sky. It's almost as if they knew you'd appear here. Uh, but do you even know what a Pokemon is? Of course I do. Why, that's a relief. Don't you feel, you, don't you feel from the sky? It seems we have some common ground, eh? Yes, yeah, so all these three Pokemon belong to me. Mysterious creatures that they are. I asked them, what might your name be? Oh, so you're called Boxer. The name is quite the ring to it. I imagine it must have some lovely meaning. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I do apologize. I haven't even introduced myself. It means has a twink. My name is Lavington. I am something of a Pokemon professor. That is to say, I'm a uh, scholar seeking to deepen our understanding of Pokemon. This Pokemon, so just these three here. With Oh, blast and bother! My darling Pokemon, why must you run from, from me again? I'm terribly sorry, but do you think you can help me around the map? I beg you! Wait, you threw away! <laughs> Alright. The running looks infinitely better than the, uh, the sprint. Oh. Hey, is that my fucking phone? <laughs> it's the Arceus phone! <laughs> you narcissist! <laughs> Did you know out that out of all the water type Pokemon, Vaporeon is the most cool? Oh, that was a good change. Yeah, it is the most cool. There's a glowing beeping object over there. Yes, <laughs> no, that was hey, better. Is that look on the fun? bright side. You may be trapped in the past, but at least you aren't British. <laughs> it's probably your phone, but it's changed shape. You feel the strange power emanating from it. <gasps> a message appeared on the screen. I bestow upon uh, thee this arc phone and thy mission. Seek out all Pokemon. Where did I put that? Ah, uh, in the back pocket, eh? Okay. 
Wow. Look at these. <laughs> Look at these flowers. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Oh my god. Oh, let's hit another miss. I'm glad you've come to my rescue, my new friend from the sky. I tried catching my little lunaries by tossing some Pokeballs their way, but I'm not the best at this sort of thing, you see. I'd love to give you a go at it, but perhaps I should tell you a bit about these three first. Now that one is Rowlet. Okay, I, I, that's the one. Rowlet can- Hopefully the gameplay makes up for the graphics. I heard good things, so fingers crossed. Listen. I'm gonna say it again. Just so people understand. That shit should be excusable for an indie dev. Not by a multi-million dollar company. <laughs> Rowlet, orb child, baby. I love them. Uh-huh. Okay, Cyndaquil. Cyndaquil turns into token. Token. <laughs> the fire burning signals back will flare up whenever it's surprised or ear. Uh, okay. Yeah, we know Cyndaquil. <laughs> That's Oshawott. While floating in the water and can battle using the shell like object on its belly. I do really like Oshawott too. And I forgot to cover the most crucial thing how uh, to go about catching Pokemon. I don't know how to do that. Here are my more Pokeballs. So these are Pokemon to catch them. Oh, wow, wow, that's a lot of Pokeballs. Oh, but that won't do for an explanation, will it? I do apologize. Let me be more thorough. Now, I've mentioned already that Pokemon are strange, marvelous creatures. What's so strange about them, you ask? Well, each and every Pokemon is able to shrink itself down to mis minuscule size. And that's where Pokeballs come in. Pokeballs are a recent invention, you see. Throw one of them in a Pokemon, and my Pokemon will shrink down and fit inside the ball. Confused can be. And with that, you've caught a Pokemon. <laughs> you, uh, I know we just met, but I'm afraid I have no one else to turn to. I'd be awfully grateful if you could catch my three runaways. Now, the proper technique is to take aim at the Pokemon and let the ball fly. It's quite simple. Though for uh, far be it from me to say so, I suppose, given my own dire lack of skill in this area. <laughs> Pokemon can be caught by four Pokeballs with them. Oh, God. Okay. Shin, before you catch, waste all your Pokeballs and talk to the professor again. No! I'm just... Oh, God. Shin, look at the shoes. He got oh. no grip or protection. It's just a little boy. Take it. Wow. Awesome. Oh, what if we got a Pokemon? It seems you've got the knack for this Pokemon catching business box, so joy jolly useful skill to have around here. Only two of our darling run away left now. Still is most unusual. You don't seem fearful of Pokemon in the slightest. Well, no. The Oshaw at Belly Shell stays on during steps. Go here. Did I just fucking crit catch that? What the fuck? I cannot believe it, Voxer. Incredible. You know, many people fear they even approach Pokemon. Never mind catch them. Bravo indeed. Just one way to go. Let's wrap this up uh, sharper, shall we? <laughs> Headshot! Come here, you. Hello. Come here, you. Oh, yeah. Fuck. Come here. I am afraid that can happen. Pokeballs are hardly 100% foolproof. Give it another go, old boy. Oh, no. How could this happen to me? Oh. Be 
Thank you very much indeed. Oh, what a relief to have them all back. You see, the third Pokemon you caught have only just arrived at the village to help with our research. They won't yet listen to anyone. Cool. And as I mentioned, they bolted from the village almost as if they knew you'd come falling. But I must say, Vox, I was taken aback by how well you use Pokeballs. How is it that you catch Pokemon so ably when you've only just arrived here? I can't help but think there's a reason you appeared here and now. Hmm. I have a phone. But seek out all Pokemon. An object is an arc phone, you say. What an odd device. Could it be guiding you somehow? If you'll indulge me for a moment, there's something I'd like to share with you. You see, Pokemon. I have a dream. Pop. This region is first complete record of its Pokemon. We in the field call such a catalog of Pokedex. Yes, a proper focus is a wonderful work of research containing detailed records of all the Pokemon to be found in the region. But in order to properly document Pokemon, one must of course catch them. And therein lies the rub, I'm afraid. The fuck lies the rub? Pokeballs have only- Actually, it's pronounced Ars Phone. I don't give a shit. <laughs> oh wait, Ars Phone? Oh my god, wait. I just looked over. A R S E. Uh, yes, the rub. Arcos. Please call me ready. Thanks for the sub. Thank you for all the biddies, by the way. <laughs> Our phone gives butt dial a new meaning. Oh dear. I've actually like I know it's probably slang for something, but I actually have never heard of the rub. Okay, but literally just use the phone to show everyone in the region Hatsune Miku. Guys, look! I have this cool little thing here! It's called a Mogus? <laughs> Next little thing for the third months. Enter you! <laughs> gamers, chilling in the wilderness, trying not to knowledge the sky butthole. But... <laughs> you got to seek out every Pokemon and mine is to have all those Pokemon caught. <laughs> Situation and I for teamwork, don't you agree? It's right there! The sky butthole is right there! Come now, what do you say? Shall we help one another out, my boy? Well, uh. Come now, what do you say? That. Uh, I have no option but to say you've convinced me. And whoever added from the illusion of choice. I want you with open arms. We have a Pokedex to complete. Basic series. Let's get these Pokemon back to the village. Looking you forward know, to my own copy of Arceus. Hope you're doing well. Listen. Shen. There's something so, so annoying. So are you gonna go with the Poke Dual Blades? Maybe the Poke Switch Act. Personally, I can't wait <laughs> to try the Poke Glaive. Listen. There's something so annoying when you give like two different answers and the second answer, answer doesn't even give you flavor text. It just resets the fucking text box. What's the point? <gasps> Follow me then, over to Jubilee Village. No, don't acknowledge the butt. Don't. No! We acknowledge the sky butthole! I must say, the Sarah dance is the best emote on Twitch. Thank you so much. I put so much effort into it. Oh, you can see the D render. Thank you for your tireless work keeping us safe, my good guardsman. This young man was of great assistance to me and my Pokemon, so I hope you'll forgive me uh, my bringing him into the village for a bit. Yeah, just nobody's gonna talk about the sky butthole. Oh no, you acknowledge this gussy. <laughs> Okay, it's the same shot. This way, if you please. Wow, this game looks great. 10 out of 10. I see nothing wrong with this. Nope, nothing at all. Nope, no. Nope. Jubilee. <laughs> I understand. I hear you must be more than a tad curious about the... Can you not skip that so fast? 
Anyways, uh, if some of you haven't realized, um... Why is the butthole in the same corner again, How? This isn't gonna be a happy playthrough. There is going to be a lot of complaining. This road we're on now is known as locals as Canala Cana whatever. The village was built scarcely two years ago. There must have much to do, and yet I. This is we know the local Pokemon who has to set foot outside the village. <laughs> that depress is building up ahead of us as Galaxy Hall and for that in our outfit. Oh, botheration! I almost forgot. I need to go and report that we successfully recovered the escape Pokemon. But I ask you to wait for me at the canteen? It's just past this bridge here, then to the left. The wallflower, it's called. Your arc phone is beeping. Somehow it seems to show where you need to go next. Uh huh. Oh my god, that person rendered it. <laughs> well, now, aren't you awfully suspicious? The wallflowers for Galaxy Team... Ah. Ah. Team Falcoli, we don't have seats for outsiders. Move along! Ah, yes. The literal plot device. Who are you? I've never seen anyone dressed like you are. What if you were attacked by a Pokemon? You'd be minced meat in those flimsy clothes. Yeah, of course, because yours will help so much more. If the guard let you through, you must have uh, ties with somebody in the village. Perhaps you've met Professor Laventon? He's a scholar from a faraway place. His Pokemon do get away from him at times, though it makes me a bit worried for him. I suppose I'm hardly one to talk. I've had some trouble with Pokemon myself. I was hit by a Pokemon move called Thundershock not long ago and had to take to my bed. But the professor, well, I do wonder how long he'll last. The fuck does that mean? Unfortunately, it's just as Akari says. I'm a clumsy sort of fellow, to put it mildly. <laughs> professor! But everything will be quite all right now. Moxa here uh, has agreed to help us with our Pokedex. Excuse me, you plan to appoint him to the survey corps? You can't just slap a badge on whoever you like without Captain Celine's uh, permission. I'll allow it. Captain Celine! Oh my god! Assuming the individual can contribute to the survey corps, that is. I am the captain of the Galaxy Team Survey Corps. You may call me Celine. Professor Levin has told me how you helped secure his Pokemon when they slipped his control. And now it seems he would like to uh, like us to feed and house you in exchange for your ongoing labor. Hmm. You look to be 15 or so. Actually, ma'am, I am 25. Quite old enough to work for your keep. Ah, child labor. But we can't simply take on a stranger who wanders uh, in among us. Without any idea... Of their skills or origins. Tomorrow we shall see if you can prove yourself worthy. Oh, oh a most reasonable decision, Captain. Now, would you care to join us for a meal? I'm sure you've got plenty of questions for our visitor. That's quite all right. I prefer to eat alone, so I might appreciate my meals without distraction. What was that walk cycle? Everybody say, lose your Let's play colonialism, boy. Aloof as always, I Just see. Just let people enjoy the game, yeah. How about I fucking kill you instead?
You know, that's not an unreasonable to say. I don't know, man. Uh, Benny, old chum, the usual potato mochi, if you please, but make it for three today. Everybody say, lose your overlap. We may not acknowledge it, but we all know what goes on out. Take off your pants. <laughs> you need to learn how to sew if you add bending alone. Wonderful stuff, Benny. Much obliged. Your potato mochi never failed to please. Why am I not even surprised by the quality of this game? Where's the Leventon? Where exactly did you meet our visitor here? Oh, well, you know of that great hole in the... <laughs> the one called a space pussy. <laughs> The one people call the space time from our new friend fell right out of it. You can't be serious. <laughs> Come now. I am a scientist. Ah, yes, credible. Ha. Child labor best kind of work. My job is to observe and explain any and all phenomena. I concern myself only with facts. Now you already know there are many Pokemon here in the Hisui region. That they are in the grass and forest by water or whatever they like. Our job is to serve a corpse to research them and find out what kind of creatures they are. Well, we know this much. Pokemon are terrified creatures! It's all but impossible to know what kinds of powers they might possess or what sorts of uh, wondrous things they can do. This game may not seem great, but do you know what is? Twitch Prime. That's a good you point! You serious. That's the plot we're going with. Yeah, Haga, thank you so much for the, uh, for the resub. And Danae, thank you for 100 videos. But that's where Roxy will come in. He successfully caught three Pokemon. Three of them in quick order, you understand? Nobody in the Galaxy team is capable of a feat such as that. This means we can finally begin our Pokemon research in earnest. I miss my family. Three, we have heard, uh, we have a hard enough time catching even one wild Pokemon come after us. Uh, well, to be perfectly fair, the Pokemon that fled to be the beach weren't on the attack. But the key to catching Pokemon is getting close enough to aim your Pokeball well. And it seems our new friend is fearless enough to do just that. Does the Survey Corps really have the leeway to be enjoying a leisurely meal with this outsider? Your captain just ordered ten whole portions of potato mochi, you know. The slow progress on that Pokemon series clearly has her on edge. We just got here, dude! I'm sure we'll start to rain in the good captain's stress eating soon enough. Now have your fill, Boxer. And think, if you make it to the galaxy team, you'll never have to worry about a meal again. The team provides for all its members' needs, even if said members fell out of the sky. So happy to catch the stream. That was quite delicious. Quite delicious indeed. Yes, the food was lovely, but more importantly, you do remember that Voxer has a trial to pass? Not exactly child labor if they're considered middle-aged. Not to worry, I have complete confidence in Voxer's skills. Let's hope it is not as placed. Voxer, was it? For tonight, at least, we will provide you with a place to sleep. You may use our quarters there. But if you fail to pass the trial we put to you tomorrow, you must move on. We will be expelled from the village to- What the fuck is going on with Voxer? Oh, God. How detailed do you think the skinning animation will be? You will be expelled from the village to meet your fate and perhaps your death in the wilds? Captain Celine somewhat like his sweet. You see, this mysterious sky child has no records, so sending him means we can't be sued for negligence. Now, now, she simply puts on a stern front to help keep us all safe. At any rate, I think it's time we turn in for the night, eh? It's a good thing one uh, can't fall out of the futon we sleep in here. I imagine our new friend has had enough falling for one day. And with that, I bid you both a good night. Yeah, good night. Where the fuck am I sleeping again? Oh no, the Skanus. So he came from the sky ass, so the universe pooped him out. He must be the chosen one. A rift in the sky, people falling from it. The world is full of mysteries.
<laughs> I need to stop. Arceus really just reached into the void and pulled out a random twink just to say go through the scuzzy, get Pokemon, and try not to die. Yeah. The shade we're throwing is better than the shading in game. I'm. I want to say it, and everybody's going to be mad at me. They really tried hard to be Pokemon. Uh, uh, to be uh, Monster Hunter Rise. They really, really tried. <laughs> oh no! Oh, so it's a <laughs> Don't wish your toys to be forgotten. Diligent record keeping will save you from such a fate. Okay. At least the music's nice. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, okay. Everybody say, lose you over love. Yeah, I'm mad at you. How dare you to say the truth? <laughs> oh, that looks a bit better. Just a tiny bit better. Oh, hello. God, that scaniness needs to stop. Oh, well. having a keys of the rent. <laughs> I just looked to my fucking door. <laughs> Good morning, Boxer. Are you up? Quite some lightning last night, wasn't it? <laughs> There's a Davy Charles, so let's give it our all. Hello. It was... It's paper lighted. It seems to use oil as its fuel. Wow, epic. There are some lovely stones that someone must have found, but they're just plain old stones. Really? You could have fooled me. The full length mirror. Okay, it doesn't let me change outfit yet. Our five principles. Behave with courtesy to others. Superiors are owed your respect. Likes and dislikes are luxury ill afforded. Those who are weaker must be helped. Difficulties must be faced head on. It's a jug used to store drinking water. It has a lid on top to keep debris from falling in. Is that a cry from help from the developers towards the higher-ups? They're leaving notes all around the game being like, Help us. <laughs> help us. They don't pay us enough. So this game is Pokemon Monster Hunter Breath of the Wild Konosuba. I can get with it. What lovely weather we've got! I hope you had a nice sleep, even if this land is strange and new to you. Let's go to the headquarters. Cat is, uh, si is it Celine or Silene? I would, I would, I would say it's Silene. Silalen. Whatever. Is this going to the stream channel? I want to, but I'm genuinely terrified of YouTube comments. Listen, the YouTube audience can't even handle me not liking a character. But like an entire Pokemon game? I don't know about that one. Rumor has it, uh, he once said a Pokemon flying with one of those sumo thermos he's so proud of. <clears throat> the server corpse offices are here on the first floor. 
Don't give up! Keep those eyes open! The oh, wild Pokemon, they, they were everywhere, attacking There's from no all sides. Fighting anymore. What's the worst they could do? <laughs> I set out my partner Pokemon, but against the whole pack, outnumbered. This is what happens when you go so far afield, but the medi medical corpse will put you to the rights. My man is with a security corpse, and even with his own partner, he took a beating from wild Pokemon. With a partner Pokemon of your own, you might find this trial Game particularly Freak trying. Game Freak to borrow Zelda and Monster Hunter's homework, but forgot to make it different enough that the teacher wouldn't notice. Captain Silene Vox is here. You may enter. Not even the nameplate is high quality. It's pixels. Oh, there's an opera. Let's get straight to it. If you wish to join the Galaxy Expedition Team, prove yourself capable by going out into the uh, Obsidian Fieldlands, catching three different species of Pokemon: Beedle, Starly, and Shinx. Catching three Pokemon from the start? No one in the Galaxy team has ever managed that. The district did not catch three different Pokemon only yesterday. My trial should be simple enough for him, if the person wasn't exaggerating things, that is. The Galaxy team does not have the means to provide for those who only take without giving. If you wish to stay, you must prove beyond any doubt, then you'll be an asset to our cause. I will lend you one of our Survey Corps satchels to carry whatever you may need in the field. Uh, oh my god, can we please get out of my fucking sleeping attire? That satchel doesn't exactly match your uh, model of dress. Akari, I'll expect you to step in if anything goes awry. Oh god. Missions and requests. Okay, awesome. Pardon, Voxer, come with me a moment. All right, Mr. Clown. Now then, a jolly good morning to everyone. Is something the matter, Professor Laventon? In order to complete our Pokedex and we'll simply survive in this unforgiving land, uh, Boxer absolutely must pass this trial. And as a professor of Pokemon, I've got just a ticket to help accomplish that. Oh. My partner Pokemon. Go on, Vox, pick the pull that strikes your fancy. With a partner of your own, you'll be able to fight off wild Pokemon outside the village. These little darlings are very dear to me, but it's plain to see they're rather curious about you. Well, my boy, which Pokemon would you like to keep as your very own? Obviously you. Yes. Wobble, wobble. Why are you poking the mans? And with that, one of the Pokemon you caught at Perlu Beach for me will now be yours to keep. Good shot. I've tucked Rollo back inside its Pokeball for you, so take it. It's yours. Of course, you're handing me nothing again. Awesome. A word of advice, my boy. Pay close attention to which Pokeballs are empty and which ones contain a Pokemon when you're out in the field. Wait, what? They look as if they're cheering on their friend Rowlet. Or perhaps they're jealous that it gets to help you with your trial. That could well be... They did go dashing from the village when Voxer fell out of the sky. The village when... Wait, uh, oh, after all. Well, not to worry, you two. I'll have you assist me with my research for now. By the by, what species has Captain Celine charged you with catching? Well, that's smashing. All three of those species can be found in the Obsidian Fieldlands. Let me give you some Pokeballs to use during the trial, then. Cool. Awesome. These Pokeballs may be handcrafted, but they work a treat, as you've already seen. You'll have this trial cleared in no time! I guess you're finally ready. You'll have to leave the village for your trial. Turn left after you exit headquarters, then head for the gate. Alright. Awesome. I'm so ready to go into hand-to-hand -hand combat with Pokemon. Final flavor! Fix switch for the five gifted subs! Oh. I see. Okay. So that's how you... Whoops. That's not what I meant to press, but okay. Hello! Oh, 
What a curious getup you have there. I can already tell you're quite the character. I'm Volo of the Gink, uh, of the Gink Go Guild. The go-to choice for any of your mercantile needs here in Hisui. I've heard talk about you. Fell from the sky, didn't you? Now it's certainly a tale I'd like to hear. Oh, and you've a, you've a Pokemon. You're certainly full of interesting surprises. Investigating the odd and novel is key to a good merchant's success. So what do you say? How about you and I see how our Pokemon set up to one another in battle? Uh, sure, why not? <laughs> I like you better and better. What a delightful find. I've also heard about this trial year to attempt. Let's have a quick battle to get your blood pumping before you head out. Do I hope you know you'll lose if your Pokemon's HP reaches zero. Oh. I don't know who you are and where you came from, but <laughs> small. Oh, okay. Oh, oh! Wait, can I still, no, okay. It is, I, I will give it, it has a very neat UI. Oh, you can move around, oh no, I'd rather not move around during fights, that looks really funny. Moves, items, use them well, and the world will open up to you. Cool. It's always good fun to have your Pokemon do battles, don't you think? And as they gain experience through battle, they'll learn more moves and grow even stronger. Pokemon sometimes learn new moves when they level up. If you want to change the moves your Pokemon can use in battle, open your satchel, choose the Pokemon you want, and select change moves. Oh, okay. But so few people here have their own Pokemon. If only more uh, knew how to use the Pokeballs. At any rate, let me help our two battles recover from their little, uh, battlers recover from their little exercise. Nope. Augie, this is a official full release. And to you, my Skyfall friend, I present some potions and thanks. I'm going... I'm hungry. So, while we wait, I am going to continue eating this fish that I have here. Mmm. Because by God, I'm going to need it today. Hello. I swear, I keep hearing the Starly. You can use them on your Pokemon whenever they might be worn out from battle. I'll be hoping that you're successful in the trial of yours. More Galaxy Team members means more customers for yours truly, after all. Bye. That's really something. Not only can you catch Pokemon, you can lead them in battle. Not to the Obsidian Field Dance. When you're leaving Jubilee Village, make sure you choose a destination from your map and tell uh, rest of the guardmen where you're going. That way someone can come to your aid if you're knocked out by a Pokemon. Your trial begins just a short way past that front gate. Alright. Hey, dude. Your box is correct. I was informed you'd be passing through. Your trial will take place outside the safety of the village. Please take care to come back alive. You see, I'll fucking try. This is our base camp, the last safe haven before you reach the wilds. For your trial, you must catch three species of Pokemon, Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. Are you ready to get started? 
Oh, Professor, is something wrong? Uh, well, you see, Captain Silene got a hold of me after you left. She impressed upon me that I bear full responsibility for whatever happens to our sudden guest. That's our unsparing captain, but what help exactly can you offer out here, Professor? To be honest, my dear girl, I don't intend to lift a finger. Vox's talents are the real deal. He'll pass with flying colors, you'll see. Uh, so the responsibility for him is still lies, in fact, with me, then. Well, I'm sure Vox will be fine. Let's begin the trial. Yeah, thank you so much for the sub. <laughs> I look like a fucking idiot. Okay, that's the item box. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna... <laughs> stay up. Okay, so that's for crafting. Alright, awesome. Let's... Let's go! This is Aspiration Hill. The species of Pokemon you're meant to catch all live here. <laughs> oh my god! <gasps> Vox, you're just gasping at that. <laughs> and long comes a beetle. Time to get ready. <laughs> Please, the text moves too fast. The keys to aim carefully. Not that you seem to need my advice. I'm just sharing what I know. Okay, hold down ZL button. All right. Bit of a smell of disposition. That means it tends not to run from people. So this will be easy. Hey there, Bidoof. Oh, 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 it's coming right at me. Okay. Epic. You gotta be the full done. Time to find your next Pokemon. Wow, it's grass. Oh, God, this looks so bad. This is Starly. They're skinnish little things. They'll run if startled. But you should be able to get close to them if you crouch. You'll be harder to spot. <laughs> the hand holding is kind of extreme, isn't it? Whoops. <laughs> I fucking just. <laughs> that Starly caught us well. Only one more Pokemon to go. Hey, what's up? I forgot there's something I uh, ought to teach you since you still needed this. Here's the proper way to throw your partner's Pokeball. As Captain Celine tells us, have an item at the ready, but the. Uh, Want to set out a Pokemon? Press X. Have a Pokemon at the ready, but want to throw an item? Press X. The captain's a real expert on these things. <laughs> that is fucking... Okay. This game would fit better on the Nintendo 64. Can we go back to Pokemon Snap? Try throwing your Pokemon's ball at rocks or things like this one to have it investigate. If your Pokemon finds any berries or other items, it'll bring them to you. Now it's time for your partners to shine. We've reached your final hurdle catching a Shinx. <laughs> Woohoo! Wow! Anyways. Oh. Oh, okay. That could end up being super annoying down the line. There. That Shinx! Shinx is an ag aggressive disposition. Could you already tell that? Not at all. <laughs> She's so mad. Not to worry. These things become clear once you focus on the Pokemon around you. Once aggressive Pokemon gain irate, they'll knock aside any ball you throw at them. Okay. <laughs> you know, irritation gauge. The next thing will appear above that has picked a fight with you. Be warned, Pokemon is playing this Ica cannot be caught unless you engage them in battle. Don't worry though, I'll teach you the trick to catching aggressive Pokemon. You've got to battle them. 
Once they're abs uh, absorbed with battle, you can throw a Pokemon at the time to try and catch them. But now you've got several Pokemon of your own, don't you? Take over their Pokeballs and throw it near one Pokemon you want to battle. I've got no doubt you'll hold your own in battle. Simply throw a Pokeball at the Canadians, one of your own. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh, it's... It's Remember, anger. They specifically Come here. called out catching three as being this monumental task. You've been out here for five minutes. Hiya! 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 You're doing great. You're doing fantastic. Hiya! 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 Oh, right, wait. Oh, whoops. Fuck you. Whoa. Wait. Ah, so it still goes like that, huh? Makes sense. Thanks for stream smile. Wow, I did it. You approached this Pokemon without a hint of fear and caught each one. You're like a gift the sky dropped to us. Maybe you all are just pussies. <laughs> With you at our side, I think the survey corpus is a real chance of compiling a complete Pokedex as we've been ordered. This is wonderful. I'm so curious why on earth you came falling from the sky like you did. But for now, let's tell the wow, person ready to head back. Wow, this game looks so good on the 3DS. Wait, this is on the Switch? Oh God. <laughs> I said you passed the trial of flying colors and it seems you went and did just that. Congratulations, Boxer. You've taken your first step towards seeking out every Pokemon. This calls for a commemorative photograph. With skills like yours, I suppose this was for foreign conclusion. Now then, best report to Captain Silene. Time to head back to Jubilee Village, eh? As these games continue to be mediocre at best, I've come to realize I love Pokemon not for the games, but for the Pokemon themselves. Yeah. That's usually the deal, isn't it? This isn't hand-holding anymore. This is getting chained to the tutorial and getting dragged along. I'm going to beat the shit out of Lavington if he doesn't take that stupid cat Tom, you'll be able to set Pokemon you've caught to live in the village pa pastures. You can bring up to six Pokemon with you into the field, in theory. Though we've never had anyone skill enough to I do mean, so. If you saw a guy come out of nowhere and just start teaming and vibing with wild bears, lions, and tigers, you'd be surprised too. <laughs> I mean, I guess. You might think Arceus sent you to another realm, but no, this is how they sent you to. The best part of the game is chat roasting the game. I did say it wasn't gonna be nice. Like, the only gripe so far I have about the game is that it genuinely looks like shit. Um. Like, it, it, it actually looks bad. It looks really bad. But other than that, I don't have any complaints yet. Why waste your time with it if you know you're going to have a bad time? I never said I was going to have a bad time. I said I was going to be brutally honest with this game. Why put shit in my mouth that I've never even said? Come now, you two. Let's not dilly dally. Captain Celine, Silene awaits our report at headquarters. I bet Captain Silene will be very pleased.
I don't care if a game looks like crap. <laughs> I've said my opinion about that earlier. Where I... I would say the same about an indie game. Or a company that's smaller. But... You're hey, legit. Man, you're looking one, at man, a okay, game bye. of a company that has the that is the biggest franchise in the world. It it looks unacceptable. Okay, Captain Silent. And and the comments that people made, it's like, oh, it's stylized. This is not stylized. This is not stylized. I want to talk to this Abra. Never mind, I can't. It seems we won't have to leave you to die after all. Congratulations. You've passed your trial. You can hold on to that satchel. I must admit, you've impressed me. I set a high hurdle to judge whether a stranger like yourself could be worthy, but you cleared it. This is yours, the official uniform of the Survey Corps. Get changed in the room you used last night, then you're uh, to report at once to the third floor. Present yourself in uniform to our commander. This is your first official order from your captain. When ready to get into your uniform, make sure to use the mirror in your quarter. All right. Uh, oh dear. I I think chat needs to chill a little bit, if I'm honest. Like, y'all are... Like, I said I was gonna be brutally honest with this game, but y'all are just saying garbage. <laughs> like, you're just... Like, while I'm actually, like, sitting here, like, making sure to... Wait, what the fuck? Oh, here. While I'm actually making sure to, you know, I don't know, like, take things into consideration, y'all are here like... Oh my god! Look at this small detail that is uh, not even all that bad. <laughs> Color. Co <gasps> Wait. Hell yeah, green eyes. Let's go. Wait, don't I? Don't I have a hat? No. Oh wait, sandals. Peepo Sag, no hat. I'm done. They don't let me marry Gardevoir like the Super Deep Lore and History claimed we could. Zero Tin Lol. Look at how well our Civic Corps uniform suits you. It was almost as if the captain had it tailored just for you. I see you've changed. Regarding to your accommodations, you may continue to use the room you slept in last night. You may wear this as well. Wait, now I get the hat? Hell yeah. Now present yourself to the commander. Uh, uh, uh. Ah. Ah, uh, even higher up. God damn. Making me walk all these stairs. Hello, sir. <laughs> this is just Tojo clan. I've been waiting for you. I'm 
Kamado, commander of the Galaxy Expedition Team. Oh, so you are Voxer. Yes, sir. Mm. I've been briefed on your situation, including how you fell from the rift in the sky. Now then, let's see what you're made of. Face me and cut. What? Try to throw. Charge at him. Hiya! Ah, you've got vigor. I'll give you that. You need to work on your sumo technique, but I do see some potential. You died in Sir Dark Souls sound effect. And expect a warm welcome from everyone. Naturally, someone will, someone will be slow to trust an outsider. Naturally, uh, wait, I can't read. It literally fell right out of the blue. The superstitious among us might see your arrival as a portent of disaster. But you passed the trial that was put to you. No matter how odd you may seem, you're part of Jubilee Village now. Dedicate yourself to the work of the Galaxy Expedition Team and complete the Pokedex. But I warn you, Voxer. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. Keep your wits about you as you work. Uh, yay! My first mission complete! Does this have online? If so, then I can get somewhat of the reason why it's like this, but still. So the commander has also accepted you. But understand this you begin as a no star recruit among our ranks. In other words, you have no rank at all. Ah, oh, fuck. Hey, what does Nurse Joy look like? I don't... I think you just wiped the memory of Nurse Joy out of my head with that message because I do not remember. Perform well as a member of the Servant Corps, and you will move up for the ranks. Indeed, you see, the more you add to the Pokedex, the higher your rank will become. And working in the Pokedex will also, of course, bring you closer towards the goal of yours, to seek out every... Li no, I know it's pink hair nurse girl, but, like, I genuinely can't remember her details. Pokeballs from Sha Apricorn and one Tumblestone. Oh. Akari, you're an expert at crafting yourself. Teach our new recruit what he needs to know. Of course, Captain Silene. Now, as the experienced craftsperson here, let me explain a bit to start with. Uh, crafting me. Oh. Making items with your own two hands. You can buy some items at the general store, but self-sufficiency is worth striving for. But you can make uh, our most valuable tools, Pokeballs. Think we're where we'd be if we couldn't do that. Let's head to the Craftworks. Out. Leventon look like he gonna go skiing, go to a fancy dinner, and cure cancer on the same day. <laughs> Good for <laughs> Well done, Erdogan. Imagine if Monster Hunter stories in this game swapped budgets. Doesn't Monster Hunter stories also run kind of poorly on the Switch, though? I remember, like, I know that Monster Hunter stories was like, it was pretty, but it ran super poorly. I think it's just the Switch man. <laughs> My name is Anth. I'm the local clo- a a Anth? Is it Anth? The professor has said I ready you a change of clothes, so here we go. I do hope they fit. <gasps> Everyday trousers. I hope you'll avail y yourself to the village humble shops. Whoa, what is your hat doing? This way to the Kraftwerks, Boxer! Yeah. 
You can use the workbench here at the craft store anytime you need to make an item in the village. And I'll supply what you need to make your... Hmm. I feel like the game is trying to tell me something. <laughs> Speaking of Monster Hunter, <laughs> call my way of saying congratulations on joining us. Just spend the money you got from the camp and clothes, or whatever you think is best. Favorite Pokemon is it Raidon? <laughs> Raidon. <laughs> <laughs> Ride on a bike because it's fun. Wow. Wait. Oh. <laughs> I have so many fucking Pokeballs. I have a question. Yeah. The shoes is crusty. There are cameras. The aesthetic is in mold. So, do they have toilets or do they drop their Pokeballs somewhere else? Nice save. Mm. Oh. Oh no, the lady in the back, she's crunchy. Look at her. She's so crunchy. I was going to make an industrial comparison about Pokemon and the other niche series, but here's a do you get when you put a paddle together with the robot. I sorry, I have to read that. Wait, hold on. What the f what did you just say? Hold on, I gotta open up my stream labs. I need to decipher that one. Stream elements, because stream labs is bad. Get rid of get rid of Streamlabs OBS because they're garbage people. Get normal OBS. He kind of looks like Toad. Oh! 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 I that's Here's a joke. What do you get when you put a paddle together with the computer? A robot. Like a rowing robot? Ah. Now that's some fine craftsmanship. Hard to believe this was your first time stepping up to the workbench, my boy. You recall, of course, that Pokemon possess the odd power to shrink themselves down. What? Why can Pokemon just randomly shrink themselves down? What is this Pokemon lore? <laughs> Why can't I? <laughs> because if I shrink, I can't get big anymore. <laughs> Why do you think I'm five foot three? <laughs> no, wait, I'm five foot four. Wait. I don't remember anymore. I think I'm five foot... Yeah, I'm either five foot three or four. One of those two. It doesn't matter. Also, that more Pokemon species can be uh, duly recorded in the Pokedex. And on that note, here you are. Volume for compiling the collector is over. Okay, thank you for the Pokedex. Okay. I'm five foot four sounds like something someone five foot three would say. Are you gonna play the new Kirby game when it comes out? Yeah! Yeah. 
I wrote this volume just for you. I hope it aids you well in your aim to seek out all the Pokemon there are in this grand region. You'll have to complete lots of research tasks to help the professor fill out the Pokedex. The same goes for me, of course. I've also got Pokemon to research as a survey course member. I'd be all too happy to explain more about the research tasks I could use your assistance with. Come join me at the Fieldland camp whenever you are ready, my good Voxer. My good bitch. Hey, excuse me, I couldn't help but over here. If you're going to the field lens camp, would you mind taking a care of a request for me? I'm standing guard, so I can't leave my post, but I'll be here at the headquarters if you want to talk about it. Ooh. Side missions. This doofus thinks a Pokemon shrink? Does he not know it's the ball that does it? <sighs> I guess they give the title of professor to anyone these days, they're a smug. God, these fucking millennials and their... Technology! <laughs> hey, so there's this Pokemon called Wurmple. Have you heard of it? Uh, yeah. Well, you see, it was having a chat with Professor Lavitan. He told me that after a Pokemon gains a certain amount of experience for battling and the like, it will sometimes change its appearance and become stronger. He said it was a phenomenon called evolution. Oh, no. The, the anti-scientists will come for us. Thinking that we're talking about evolution. A no rank rando, doing everyone else's work for food, a bed, and nothing else. That's a grad student. <laughs> whoa, what Pokemon is that? Oh, shit, fucking, whoa. Who's that Pokemon? It's Pikachu! That's a crowbat. So Pokemon can undergo evolution, which change their appearance and stats. If one of your Pokemon has met the requirements to evolve, you'll be able to select the evolve option from viewing the Pokemon in your satchel. How far through the game are you, Shin? I I just started, like an hour ago. Uh, and so I decided I want to race Wurp with myself and have it evolve. I want to redeem that last donation by letting everybody know there's a Pokemon named Amoongus. You're part of the server corp. <laughs> right. Sir, an hour ago, still in the tutorial. Do you know what a content creator is? Do you know that I have to talk to my chat and also, like, read out everything and also uh, do a lot of other stuff? I know Shix's ears had odd markings on them, but what are they? No use, I can't remember. This will keep me up all night. Hey, aren't you with that server corpse? If you catch a Shix, could you show it to me? Is not half finished. Could you show it to me? I've got to see one with my own eyes. Please, I can't remember for the life of me what those ears look like. It's driving me up the wall. Let me through the door! The pastry has many Pokemon you catch. Collect them for me to change up your party. Huh. Wait, didn't... I have a Shinx! Bro. Wait. How do I check my requests again? Oh god. <laughs> Uh huh. Wait. Ooh. Ooh. There we go. Missions and requests. All right. Wait. There's another request. Oh fuck. Hi. Got one of those shoes? Yeah, here you go. Alright, let's have a peek at these round ears. 
That's it. Needs have the yellow cross better on them. Kind of like a star. Can't tell you what a relief this is. Felt like I had a bone stuck in my throat. Only the throat's my brain and the bone's a thought. <laughs> what? Thanks for helping me get that bone out. I yeah, wonder if Newslock CS and happened in this one. Could you imagine a randomizer? Oh god. You're that newcomer who fell from the sky. Are you heading outside the village? Of course you are. The survey corps must have uh must have to get out and about to compile a Pokedex book they're working on, right? Well, on your way kindly, do me a favor, find out all about what Starly. Pokemon certainly are terrifying creatures, but when I see Starly, I feel simply whole that I have the least desire to actually touch one, mind you. Please let me see Starly's entering that Pokedex the moment you've completed it. Oh, okay. So the more Pokemon you catch, the more it fills out. Otters. Right on, let's get to it. Uh, in order to complete this book, there are a great many research tasks I'll need your help to carry out, my boy. The details of these tasks can be found in the Pokedex for you to reference any time. Uh, tasks need to carry out to complete the Pokedex. Each Pokemon species has a different number of variety of research tasks. Ah. You must catch and battle the first Pokemon species and carry out plenty of research tasks. Do so and you'll gain research points and other rewards for your work. That actually sounds interesting. If you see a wild Pokemon attack coming your way, dodge like your life depends on it. <laughs> Say again? Here, watch closely. Remember what I do so you can do it later. Hop! Yeah, you're gonna have to go that by me one more time. If you're light on your feet, you can dodge out of the way of wild Pokemon's attacks. That way, hopefully, you can avoid taking a beating and blacking out in the wilderness. The secret corp had to collect to me when I got the business end of some Shinx and Thunder Shock. But don't you worry, I've got lots of experience to draw on, and I'll teach you plenty. Hi! 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 Whoop! Hiya hop! Hiya hop! Now, let me share some Siri Corp's wisdom. Focus on a Pokemon with the ZL, then press down button to open the Pokedex. You'll see what tasks you have for that Pokemon. You might have noticed that you have a research task to do with how many beat if you've caught. That's right, catching just one is enough. You need two, then four, then more and more. Goodbye. And when it's time to battle a Pokemon. <laughs> Remember the captain's uh, switching wisdom. If you have items out, press X to ready your Pokemon. Give it a try now. If you want, I'll go on ahead. Wait, ha, hu, hu, ha. Okay, research has number of heavy specimens of caught. Heavy? Hmm. Okay. Number of different forms you've obtained. Already. Time flies, Aero Love. Different forms? Never caught 25 heavy, heavy specimens. Number defeated. Okay. Time to fucking. Whoops. Um. Well, I guess I'm fighting it, huh? Oh, okay. What the fuck? Hold on. Uh, how do I... Wait, how do I switch my... Oh, there we go. Awesome! 
This should be slapping. Oh, oh, oh. oh. I am here for the hoops. Oh, also getting close to a year. Where did my Pokemon go? Oh. Wait. I didn't mean to throw up my Rowlet again. Oh well. Why are you looking around, Bidoof? Bow, 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 bow. Okay, hold on. Go be doof! Wait. Go be doof! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking fight! Oh, wait. I only have rollout. Oh, wait. This is bad. I love that it's just looking around. It doesn't- it- it's stun lock! It doesn't know what it wants in life! Oh, spoiled apricorn. Great. That's fantastic. Hello. I think got it, but as a reminder, don't forget to open your Pokedex when you focus on, on the Pokemon to check your research tasks for it. It's just CL then down. Try checking your tasks for Starly next. Okay. One of your tasks is to catch Starly without being spotted, right? But then has to try catching him while hiding in some tall grass. All right. <laughs> Did not mean to do that. That was a mistake. Local beaver becomes bolder, rolls out on other beavers. Beavers now believe in Arceus. I need to hold it. Oh! It just fucking flew. Okay. Number of covered up being spotted. Oh, 20 times, huh? <laughs> awesome. Wait. No. Nope. Wait, I heard a wormple. I heard that wormple. Just sitting here waiting for the moment you encounter Vaporeon and people break put the copy past you. Take it. Wait, I fucking used the wrong thing again. <laughs> oh shit. Well, that's a rip moment. Oh, you want me to document all the Pokemon in the region? Why don't you try documenting some bitches? Face boosted Pokemon music. Ah! Uh. Hello! <coughs> what the fuck? Hold on, I'm eating more... more fish. Mmm. Mmm. Ow. Oh. Dude! Fucking hella!
Around here, you find a Pokemon called Buizel. I love Buizel. There it is. That means I'll try to hit you when it's smooth. Just like Shinx, and you need to battle it to catch it. I already hate that I know that I'm going to want to complete everything. Oh my god. I just wish this game looked better. It's so sad because everything so far, just like other people have said, is already very interesting and not like and new and innovative to the Pokemon system. But the game just looks sad. <laughs> <sighs> if you take further damage, the uh, edges of the screen have turned red, he'll become overwhelmed and black out. And speaking of which, your research tasks for reason include seeing it use a certain move. Besides, you have to see it use in a battle. That's right, some tasks require battling. Hey, did you know in terms of water-based Pokemon, Poliwhirl is most likely to kick your fucking ass? <laughs> Who the fuck are you, and why are you here? You should have your Pokemon smash open sparkling rocks for you. You'll find tumble stones inside. It's the same tumble stones you need to craft Pokeballs. Oh, so these things? I don't know. They don't really look like... Oh, you were, you were over there. <laughs> it's just staring at... Hey there. You coming with me? No? Okay. Minov, come with me! Nope, never mind. Yes, I understand you. Hello. Yes, okay. What about Shinx? Cool. Awesome. Overworld textures are far from great, but move animations are pretty good. That rollout looked pretty cool. Hmm. So, gotta catch it 25 times. Defeat 25 times. Defeat it with electric type moves. Seen Aqua Jet and then the forms. Okay. Hiya! It was asleep! No, now I feel bad. Oh. Um, how do I just, when it comes to f fucking, imagine if Nintendo used a fraction of its substantial budget to make this look like Monster Hunter and gave the Pokemon HD textures. Uh, I mean, the problem is. You need to... Uh, what's it called? If you need to see certain moves and you don't want to use an ability, you can't really do that. Hello, boy. Hello, hello, Bidoof. Alright, hold on. Is this not it? Can you only do it with those rocks? I guess so. I'll take care of that later. You're really doing quite well for yourself. Here, a little reward for keeping up with me. Your own crafting kit. Oh, awesome. I could get everything you might need for crafting, even when there is no workbench around. However, you can only use the materials you have in your satchel. Okay. 
All right, awesome. Ah, here's the recipe for potions too. Awesome. Thanks. With a crafting kit, you can craft items anywhere using any materials you have in your satchel. You all face for 15 months. Uh, so long as you've got an apricorn and a tumbler, you can make a pokeball anytime. <laughs> or with an orange berry and a medicinal leak, you can make a potion. So do heal your Pokemon. Yeah, with a tumbler. Yeah. With a tumbler. The cover of focus will tell you if there are tasks you finished and can report. Uh, unfortunately, I've uh, finished nothing. So uh, congratulations to me, eh? I'm doing fantastic. Look at that. Nice. Please report back to Professor Lev uh, Laventon once you've got some uh, research tasks good and done. Ah. Now I get to do the thing that is like go and do whatever the fuck I guess. Whoops. No. No, come back. You see me, don't you? Ah! Alright, let's try that again. This time I'm smarter and more prepared. Oh, awesome. Nice. All right. Got to do this later. The shanks! They're on fire! Speck! Thank you so much for the uh, two gifted subs. Whoa. Wait, that was one gift that's up, not two. I'm a dumbass. How is it so far? It's okay. <laughs> you must have. I mean, I I'm still at the beginning, so. Uh, excellent work, dear boy. This seems a good time to explain to you about survey reports and the rewards they offer. Uh, when you submit survey reports, you'll receive money. Okay. On that note, let me check the research tasks you've completed thus far. Yay! Awesome. Nice. Mm -hmm. I see. Most illuminating. I'll update our Pokedex with this new data. Okay. As you're going to carry out tasks and complete the focus entries for the friend's space, you'll also get Pokemon research points. Okay, awesome. Yay! Number caught. Okay, I need to catch like five of them. Uh, time is going to use Roost, Aerial Ace. Okay. Ah, uh, not quite there yet, I'm afraid. You'll need to complete a few more research tasks before you're ready to go up a rank. I'd recommend you work your way through Beedoof's and Starly's tasks first. Hang in there. Well, I mean, sure. I want more Pokeballs. Can only craft one. Wow. <laughs> Incredible. And then you can obviously rest to, like... Oh, you, you can actually change the t uh, time of day. That's cool. That makes me- that makes me glad. I actually d don't often really like the- having the wait and the tired to- for like certain types of day. Alright, so let's go and catch some Starly. Damn, slapped in the head. Fuck!
Why does it look like it has, like, a dialogue box? Nice. I win. Okay. So, when it comes to you, I need to just catch it 25 times. Defeat it 50 times. Defeat it with ground. Times you seem to use bite. Oh. I've got to evolve it like three times. Oh dear. Here. Nice. Okay, I do need to find more of those rock places. Oh. Yes! Wait, what happens if I go into the water? Oh. C can I swim or will I die? Oh my god, I can swim! Never mind, I'm drowning! <laughs> Holy shit! Well... Guess I've never learned how to swim, huh? That's embarrassing. Oh, I see that cricket tot all the way all over there. Let's go! How are you today? I'm doing good. How do you like the game so far? It's fine so far. Okay, so when it comes to boy, whoa! Oh, it's mad! Oh, it's mad! Why are you mad? Woo -hoo -hoo! Uh, number caught, defeated. Time to fight! Alright. Ow. Oof! Man, that must suck for you! I do like the seamless transition from, uh, from, uh, what's it called? Uh, oops. <laughs> God. God. God damn it. I... <laughs> Fuck. Genuine question. What is there to do, apart from filling the Pokedex? Um, I mean, I'm still at the beginning of the game. Wow! I'm not having- I'm- I'm- I'm not bothered by any of this. I'm having fun. If you're feeling worn out, have some rest in the tent in one of our base camps. You can also rest there to pass some time. If it's nighttime and you're uh, scared to be out surveying, the tent is a fine option. The music is nice. Oh, 
I'm slow as fuck! No, I, I really, I really do like the music. The music is very nice. There's a lot about this game that I really like, and there's a lot of this game that I really am disappointed by. But we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. I'm still only at the beginning. Uh... Oh boy, this is, uh... Oh boy, this is big. Uh, what do I dislike so far? Uh... The way it looks. And the lighting isn't good, no. It's pretty bad. Uh... Sure. Wait, what am I doing? Whoops. I totally didn't do enough. What am I doing? Well, let's update updated. Okay. Yeah, I didn't. What am I doing? Yeah, I fucking. Oh, here. I need to find more apricorns. Okay, what do I need to do for you? Well, I can defeat them, like, a few more times. Catch them a few more times. What the fuck do they mean by heavy specimen? Well... All right, go on, let's go. I keep forgetting that I can hold and slap the Bidoof with the fucking Pokeball. Wouch! My poor owl! You are not going anywhere. Get smacked. Hell yeah. You just gotta slap him with the Pokeball. <laughs> That's it. Oh, fuck. Wow! I do need to- I want to investigate a little bit further. Whoops. Slap. Fucking damn it. It knows I'm here. Got it. Uh oh. Nice. All right, what do we have going on over here? There's another Starly just sitting there. 
chilling. Vibing, having, having a good time. Having a good time, having a good time. I'm a rocket ship on my way to bus. Uh, because there's so many shinks everywhere. What is that? Vivid choke. Hello? That's a Luxio. Oh, ho, ho, it has red eyes. Bro, it's gonna beat the shit out of me. Hey there, bitch. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Hey there. You wanna, you wanna fight? You're, you're mad, you're mad, you're mad, you're angry, you're mad, you're mad, oh, you're fucking, ow! Ooh, ooh, ooh. You know what? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm out of here, bye. Uh, definitely mad. Wormple. Come here. Got it. Fucking finally. Oh, so you gotta just catch them without being spotted, huh? Fine, how about this one? Slap. I look away for like a second and the next thing I see is a demon Luxio. What on earth? Demon! It's a demon! It's angry and it will kill and how the fuck did I get over here? Oh, by the gods. I need to catch hmm. preferred foods. Hello. Okay, look, this is your first starter. Great. I mean, that's fair. <gasps> Watch this as I blissfully unawarely fucking slam it in the head. Nice! <laughs> Hello. Hello! Balloon.
Oh. Wow. Oh. Okay, it can just do that. All right, awesome. Good for the drift loot. Holy sh- Holy God. Wait, do I actually have stamina? Oh. Anyways. Just a reminder, don't forget to hydrate. Yeah! Hydrate or dihydrate. As soon as you've made some new obs written, let's have a look then. Okay. Yeah! Awesome. Hello. Who are you? This way is possibly busting with Bidoof and lots of other Pokemon besides. It's not an exaggeration to say this land belongs to them, really. I just don't think humans are ready to settle here yet. Did we really take the Bidoof's home away? Shaking my head. All these colonists. Wait, I am suddenly a little confused. They say Hunger is the best seasoning, but I'd rather really only qualify my uh, suit foot roots to make my potato mochi tasty. Okay. I have enough to make more Pokeballs. <laughs> what do you sell? The team is made up of several corps. Let's see. There's security, construction, and agriculture corps. And a few other... Okay. All right. In we go. Uh, wait. How the fuck do I save? Hold on. I actually... Still haven't figured out how to save. <laughs> uh oh. Up D pad, did I unlearn? Oh, right, I did save before. I, I'm a fucking dumbass. <laughs> Not the smartest, eh? Everyday ki- Ugh. You know what? Ah. 14 months. I'm good. Alright. Until morning, let's go! A nice fire in the second hearth can help keep the entire room heated. Awesome. I am busy. How many poke- Oh, I'm running out of pokeballs. Uh, a special parcel has arrived with your name on it. Modern jacket, a pair of modern trousers, and a pair of modern shoes. This is a good care of such a- wait, what? Uh, even more? Shame and fancy kimono? Pikachu festival mask. Evil fa Eevee festival mask. Uh, I can also buy clothing. Okay, so it's just flat caps. 
I can buy he uh, headbands to become a real ninja. Those are just all kimonos. Oh! Karate attire. Let's go. I don't know. Voxer in the hidden grass type village. I don't want to see the shaman. I want to see the kimonos that I got as a pre-order bonus. Oh, uh, wait. Wait, these are cute. Oh. Never mind. And they're immediately ruined. I. Hey, at least it's cute. Fridge magnet forehead, let's go! <laughs> okay, what is this? What can I help you with today? Hairstyling! Go to have yourself a seat, I'll put your things aside for you. Uh, what haircut would I like? Messy ponytail. Oh. No. Oh no! Well, I guess the messy ponytail makes the most sense right now, yeah? <laughs> Long hair. There we go. Yep, confirm. We have Monster Hunter Boxer back! Yeah, this is fine. Uh, awesome! And uh, we're a little bit closer to Voxer. Not fully, but closer. You haven't gotten the roll? Uh, message a mod and show them the proof that you, uh, rede redeemed it? Or like, yeah, what's your Discord role? Name, whatever. Some Pokemon prefer rainy days, you know, me, I just stay inside and enjoy a nice nap. Same. Give the Serving Corpse your all, you hear? After all, we have no f uh, food for freeloaders. What's 16 it here? months, let's go. <laughs> I'm in a random person's house! What do you have? You can enjoy taking photos together with your Pokemon. Wait, what? Oh! I'm in the business of photographer. Uh, Oh god, I'm stupid. Uh, hold on.
fuck Junji Han. Stupid pretty boy K-pop looking ass piece of shit. <laughs> oh my god! I'm so sorry! Ancient cover girl modeling. Yeah, let's use the yellow one. Ooh. Ho, 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 ho. Already the town music is so good. The lens filter. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Prepare a Pokemon. Here, rowl it. <laughs> Change your pose. Oh my god, no! What is this? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> yes, we gotta make him look as mad as possible. Wait, why are we sitting on a... <laughs> what? Wait, hold on. <laughs> Troubled. No, wait, hold on! Okay. <laughs> Act normal, look fierce. <laughs> Look happy. Okay. He's pondering his orb. <laughs> it's dead. Look at this Rowlet. It's dead. Behold, my lunch. <laughs> Let's go. Ridiculous. Let us move on! 10 out of 10 best game. All right. Let's go mess with some Pokemon again. I'm going to make sure Bidoof hates existing. Okay, so Bidoof, we need to defeat it a f t uh, t like 10 more times. I also have to catch it a few more times. Okay, so. Come here, you little beaver. Nice, that worked. Come here, you. Slap. No! You little f You nope. There we go. No, do not see me. Do not see me. It just decided to turn around on me. Oh! You little bitch! How many more times do I have to... I mean... I have to defeat it another 20 times. That's genuinely, like, a lot.
Okay, that one got spooked. See, like, I like the idea, but there is something I'm worried about when it comes to the gameplay. Like, how repetitive is this, is this going to become? That's the one worry I have. Um, uh, okay. Well, I mean, fuck me, I guess. Ah! And it's gonna run away? No, it's not. Oh my god! Okay, so why do I keep getting the spoiled apricorns? Just keep killing everything. Wait, does my be do full on? I gotta look at this now. What is that one that's blocked out? Interesting. It seems like the poison does auto cure here. Ooh. Oh wait, what? Huh? Which Starly did I attack? Hold on! What? That's not even the Starly that I aimed at! Ah, yes, I love when the- Oh! Horse, 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 horse. Horse. Ooh, it's level- It just back jumped and disappeared. Oh, so it's always from the back when they get surprised. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nope! Oh, no, 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 no. Did I actually just miss? You will not run from me! I will snipe you! Never mind. Look at that little bee doof. It's just chilling in the water. Mm. 
Nope. Mine. Oh, okay, that I guess that admit that didn't that that hit. Interesting. Uh Ah. Uh. Badoof. Uh, give me more Pokeballs. I'm dying over here. Oof, get slapped. What the? Strong. Agile style. What the hell? Why do we have two stuff? Wait, what? Can evolve? Why is it giving us the option to evolve? Wait, now I'm a little confused. How the fuck do I get to my Pokemon? Wait. What does that mean? How the fuck? Okay, do it. Okay, the animation for evolving is actually kind of cool. No, no, that's that's cool. That's actually really good. That's overly that's kind of over dramatic for a wormhole? Maybe. I slapped you. What are you going to do now, Ponyta? I just don't understand what the different styles do. At least I don't know yet. They affect the turn order. Oh. Have I gotten into this completely blind? I have. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, so strong style makes the attack stronger, but gives the other person another turn. You fucker. It uses more PP? Where the fuck? Oh, there.
Hi. Chunk. <laughs> Whoa, I fell. Wait. Oh. Let's go. Hello, sir. D did I finally level up? Sir? Please? I just... Have I done enough? I've done enough! You've made good progress on the research task, box. I do believe you're ready to move up the ranks. Let's head back to the village and report the good news to Captain Silene. It's time you earn yourself a star. Finally, I am no longer starless. At least I am now the bare minimum. Yeah, here. There. Uh, there you go. Huh, you have made progress. It seems you have earned yourself a star. Thanks, ma'am. With this, you have officially attained the rank of first star in the Galaxy Expedition team. Yay! They really had to play the intro, didn't they? Have these as well, they are for the recipes you'll need for crafting. Awesome, heavy balds. As a stranger like you should fall from the sky and yet flourish among us like this is a testament to your native talent and I press that too fast. Most people refer it when things are simple enough to be judged on face value alone. And proving your worth by moving up for our ranks is something anyone can understand. Keep at it and even if you Radius did fall from the sky, People may be more willing to accept you. Work your way through the ranks will also be a help if you wish to make a life uh, for yourself. A higher rank will grant you access to more types of Pokeballs and greater rewards. Awesome. For today, at least you've earned yourself a meal at the Wallflower and a good night's rest. Awesome. I love getting the bare minimum. You know. Oh, so the stars are like badges. Neat. So, Voxer, my boy, I believe a jolly good congratulations is in order. Well done on earning your first star rank. The potato mochi tastes so much better when you have something to be happy about. Still, we'll be very busy from now on between our survey corpse duties and requests from folks here. Which reminds me, have you already taken on the request from Beauregard? The people of Jubilee Life aren't too familiar with Pokemon, you see. So if problems arise, the survey corpse gets uh, called to help. Indeed so. Some people will ask you for help when you talk with them, while other requests will need to be claimed from the blackboard I keep in my lab. Speaking of which, weren't you uh, approached with a request recently, Akari? What's it all about? About that, I was thinking maybe Voxer could handle it for me. I was told it would require a bit of skill with battling Pokemon, so... Ah yes, that request came from Mai of the Diamond Clan, if I recall correctly. The people of the Diamond Clan have lived here in Hisui since before the Galaxy team arrived. If we could establish good relations, I'm sure there is much we might learn from them, including more about the local Pokemon. But we can discuss that th uh, all that tomorrow, for today we should eat up and get some rest. I don't want to see Dialga and Palkia. I'm not ready.
Listen, do you have a bit of time after this? There's something I could use your help with. Alright. Thank you. I'll be waiting for you at the training grounds then. If you caught a lot of Pokemon, you may want to visit the pastures to change up your team. What happened to Dialga and Palkia? Oh, someone didn't see the leaks. <laughs> Wait, is that internet? Oh shit, clone gift. Cool. Wow. Fancy kimono, baneful fox mask. Does it also just like stick to m my fucking forehead? Lost and found. What the fuck does that mean? Ah. Oh. If you find a satchel that someone has, has lost, be sure to pick it up. The satchel retrieve will be returned to its owner and you can receive merit points. It can be exchanged for items that are- okay. Okay. T turn it on. <laughs> sure. Hold on. Fuck! Wrong button! Gotta get used to that, huh? A request from my... The completed Pokedex entry from Starly. I don't know, is it actually like completed or... Oh. Oh, wait a moment. Male and female Starly have different appearances? Let me see. So the marking on their foreheads are different in size. Incredible, I had no idea. Thank you for letting me read its Pokedex entry. Now that I know more about it, I imagine I might finally bring myself to touch a Starly. Please, if you can find it in your heart, catch a Starly and bring it to me. That's not a Pokemon in the world so adorable as Starly, I tell you. Well. I'm not giving you my my party Starly, but I am giving you this one. Here, take it. The smooth curl of the feathers on its head. Those lovely round eyes. It's lovely through and through. I do it down to the last feather. Higher. How goes Pokemon Arceus Shen? It's fine. <laughs> Want to touch it? No! I think I'm quite satisfied just looking at it uh, after all. Besides, it might let a loose a move. Who well, outside of the Civic Corps, the Security Corps could actually do something so frightful as approach a Pokemon willingly. All the same, I must thank you for showing me this sweet Starly. Some people will see a Pokemon and simply flee on sight, you know. Perhaps being able to read all about Pokemon, the Pokedex may put them more at ease, you say, running away from the Starling. I'm just too scared to touch it. Okay. Hold on. Uh, no, I do not want to go anywhere. Wait, hold on. Wait, sorry, what? What? Wait, what? Oh! Quick travel! Huh.
Interesting. A big weasel. Can Pokemon of the same species really come in different sizes? I know the professor said they do, but I'll have a hard time believing it unless I see a different sized ones lined up side by side. If there really are weasel bigger than mine, I'll have to see them alongside the one I have, for comparison's sake. And you're a natural when it comes to catching Pokemon, right? I bet you see where I'm going with this. If you catch a weasel bigger than mine, would you let me have it? And I'll make it worth your while. You really want a big weasel. Big weasel. Just a really big weasel. Have you got a wormple you could give? Oh wait, do I? Yes, I do. Here you go. Take the wormple. You really brought me one. You must be as good as the rumors say. I'd like to name this wormple right away. Now I've been told the wormple will evolve it uh, uh, into a Pokemon known as Beautiful, so I should give it a name with that in mind. <laughs> This is a tough decision. Which of these do you like best? Beauticia, Beautifred, or Beugene? Beugene. Yeah, I like Beugene too. I guess that's the side of then. I'll raise Beugene to be a splendiferous beautifly. It's gonna be a fucking <laughs> dust tox. It's it's gonna be a dust tox. Ooh. Thanks for coming. I know you're busy. Listen, I've had an epiphany. I also have an epiphany. That that fucking butthole in the sky will never go away. You see, I've got a partner of my own. We may not get along perfectly, but we've got to work together to help complete the Pokedex. You have a Pokemon? Yes, here, this is my partner, Pikachu. Bega. <laughs> when we were attacked by those Shinx, it got to scared, uh, to think straight, and I couldn't handle battling as a team. Ever since then, my partner has refused to listen to anything I tell him. And if I'm being honest, I'm not even sure how to order him, how to guide him in battle. Bega. But when I saw how you and your Pokemon work together, I realized we need to do more too. I'm glad they brought back old Pikachu's voice. So please, have a battle with me. I want to learn how to fight effectively. Bega. Can I still walk around? <laughs> oh, whoops! <laughs> My bad! <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Oh uh, well. Get fucked, Pikachu. You and your Pokemon season completely in step with one another. I don't know. You fucking you killed my fucking bird. Yeah, thank you for battling us. I could be wrong, but for a moment it felt like Pikachu and I finally understood one another. Yeah, you killed my fucking bird. Let's keep working at it, okay, Pikachu? I guess I was wrong then. But I'll strive to work more as a team with my partner the way you do. Assuming Pikachu and I can be... can bridge some gaps. Oh, by the way, the professor said Pokemon have things called types, which apparently make a big difference in how battle goes. Pikachu seems to be the next type. Yeah, I know that. Oh, oh, God. Ha! Huh. They actually give you a chart. Huh.
I really like that. Oh yeah, interesting. Not effective. So you're the one, the new recruit everyone's talking about. Oh! My name is Sizu, captain of the security corps. I see you've got some fight in here. Figured I'd stop by and give what advice I could. Captain Sisu is a master of an ancient martial art, one that specializes in Pokemon battles. Now listen, if your Pokemon truly mastered its moves, it can actually use them in different styles. On the one hand, you can choose to- Ma'am, you're really tall. The move will deal more damage, but afterwards it'll take longer for your Pokemon to act. On the other hand, you can choose to unleash your move with the uh, Agile style. Such a move will have less power behind it, but your Pokemon can act more quickly afterwards. In truly favorable conditions, it might even get out two moves before the opponent can attack. Strong style moves, outer style moves, and of course, regular moves. Choose which is right. For a given situation, and direct your Pokemon with a little nudge. Huh. A boost the power of the move with ours. Okay. Ah. Oh, one more thing. If you want to teach your Pokemon some powerful moves, just let me know. Jesus' teaching should serve you well when you're up against tough Pokemon. Now, suppose it's time I went to meet Mai. You remember, I mentioned at the Wallflower that I could use your help with Mai's request. I'm to meet her down past the foot of Aspiration Hill. You should come as well. Once you've readied your Pokemon team and per uh, perhaps had the team learn some new moves from Zizu if you'd like. Well... Your Pokemon can master moves or learn new moves. I want new moves. Give it to my Rallet. Oh, you can buy moves. Are these moves it learns or cannot learn? Are these TMs? So, the interesting thing I haven't checked yet, it said your, your Pokemon can learn moves and you can just trade them out. So you could technically buy all of them. I could make a really funny joke. I could make a really funny joke. So, this is old-timey Pokemon. So, before people got better at Pokemon fighting. How come the move system is better back then? We've devolved as a species. <laughs> Capitalism. I'm still hungry. Evolution is a motherfucker, am I right? <laughs> Dude, this fish is fucking fantastic. This is a lot about society. <laughs> Ha! 
How many Pokemon are in this game? Around 240-ish. Oof. And then with all those missions... I don't know if I want to... Yeah, I want to get a few more. What is this? Cakeler base. Yeah, 100 100%ing this game is... Uh, actually kind of sounds like hell. Did I surprise you? I bet I did. I was trying to, anyway. There's a secret technique to catching Pokemon, you see. It's what I call the secret backstrike technique. Don't worry, I've, I've done it. Hitting a Pokemon's back with your Pokeball will surprise it, making it easier to catch, or giving you an invention once the battle starts. Yep. If you're a part of the Survey Corps now, working to create that Pokedex they all are, you might end up beating every last Pokemon here in Isui. You should know I'm already looking forward to the day you accomplish that. You've got this real gray what now? Oh, you're that boy from that survey corpse who fell from the sky, aren't you? Listen here a moment. I need to tell you about this great cake learn recipe I invented. I call it the mushroom cake. I pour 20 years of mushroom foraging know-how into coming up with this recipe. And I just know it's a winner. Problem is the folks around here just aren't catching on to my recipe's amazing potential. But you're the talk of the village. If people see you making my mushroom cakes, famous as you are, I'm sure they'll want to give it a go too. I'll teach you the recipe. All you have to do is return and spread the good word by using it. Oh, and you'll have to go get the key ingredient for the recipe yourself. Uh, scrounge not from the forge of the fellows, as the old saying goes. One springy mushroom is all you need. I'll be waiting. Oh god. So... What do I still have to do? I defeated... Oh god. Alright. Let's defeat more fucking beedoofs. Defeat the beedoof with the beedoof? No. Come here, you. Nice job! Good job! There he goes. Yeah? Fucking slam it! Wow! How is it still so strong? <laughs> Hello, B Doof. You turn around, you bitch. Die. Ouch. You must die. Okay. Hey there. 
The more energy Pokemon got, the harder it'll be to catch. If you paddle a Pokemon in low rates HP, or maybe it inflict paralysis with a move like Shakes his Thundershock, it should be easier to catch. Okay. Whoa! I just fucking flew! There are many sort of Pokemon that make their home on the other side of this bridge. I can't let you pass unless you're a f uh, Oh, at your rank, you should be fine. Go on, then. Don't let your guard down now. Retreat to safety if you find yourself in trouble. Okay. Over here! My, this is Voxer. My, my, a new face in the village. Not that it matters to me if you're new. If you're here, I assume you're prepared to be of help. I am one of the wardens of the Diamond Clan. You may call me Mai. I suppose you might not even know what a warden is if you're new to Hisui. But such talk can wait. Right now I'd rather we get straight to the point. I have a problem I need help solving, so a more important question is this. Do you feel confident that you can lead your Pokemon in battle? I do. That's good to hear. That security cross of yours certainly wasn't up to the task. This here is my partner, Munchlax. We were raised together like siblings. He battles at my side by choice without needing any silly little balls like you use. Watch and learn. Oops. <laughs> this fucking boy is gonna destroy me! Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Wait. Quick, 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 quick. I've underestimated this much, Lex! Oh, this sucks. Goodbye, Shinx. Oh, dear. This actually is a problem. Uh-oh. I'm sorry, Shanks. You really aren't one of those of the usual galaxy buffoons if you could defeat my partner. Well fought, Munchlax. I'll take care. Oh, God. Thank you. Please, my... <sighs> and I'll let you have these. You people make all kinds of things with your crafting, don't you? These should prove to be useful materials. You and your Pokemon fought well together. You practically acted as soon as one with them. Ran it like the legendary hero of old, the one we tell stories to, of to our children. I think you're indeed the one for the job. You see, I need someone to deal with an alpha Pokemon causing trouble upon deer, deer track heights. It is a large fearsome foe, like any alpha, but you'll come, won't you, to deer track heights? Hello? New phone, who this? The thing you have, it's showing you where, uh, where you've got to go, isn't it? My, my, that is some curious sort of map. Is that one of the Galaxy Team inventions I keep hearing about? It certainly does seem to show the way to the deer track heights up ahead of us. I'll leave this in your hands. You'll do great out there. I know it. It seems you're quite the asset to Survey Corp's new one. Though... Before we continue, I must ask, do you really do you already know about uh, Almighty Sinnoh? Almighty what now? 
I suppose that's to be expected. Allow me to sketch out the basics. Almighty Sinnoh steers all time. It's said to have created the very universe using its power over the time's flow. And this land of Hisui was born in the process. Ah, it's by the grace of Almighty Sinnoh that Pokemon can live and thrive here. We of the Diamond Clan are descendants of a people who cross the sea and settle here in the Hisui region to venerate Almighty Sinnoh. However, it stole away from the world long ago, hiding itself from our sight. Almighty Sinnoh has only rarely been seen by any human, if the old tales are to be trusted. But there are still Pokemon here today in Hisui with a connection to Almighty Sinnoh, and it is the duty of wardens like myself to attend to their needs. The Pokemon that graces Deer Trek Heights is one of those honored few. It is directly descended from a Pokemon that was blessed with Almighty Sinnoh's protection. Follow me and you may understand. You're probably... Oh. <laughs> I don't have you in my data. Therefore, it scares me. Get fucked. Holy shit, do you see these Pokemon? Look at that other... <laughs> Got it. It's just, it's just cricket, like, cricket top, but it never ends. It just keeps going... Oh, it's a Starly. Yeah, Crook Eternity. Oh, there! Mind helping a guy out? I'm after some cherry berries. You know them? The shiny red ones? They grow on some of the trees around here, but I don't have any Pokemon that can reach uh, them for me. That's right, come in, friend! Throw one of your Pokeballs a berry tree, and your Pokemon will grab the berries for you. Be sure the Pokeball you throw is a Pokemon in my in it uh, in in mine. It'd be a shame to waste an empty ball. If you hand me three of the cherry berries you get, I'll tell you another handy tip. Okay, I have ten of them. Bjorn. Hey, so then here's that handy tip I was talking about. You can throw a berry near wild Pokemon to grab their attention and keep them distracted. Why not give it a try with some of the Cricketon around here? Thanks, dude. I haven't. <gasps> Whoa! Oh, the rock wants to fight. Can I help you? I fucking slapped them while he was charging. Anyways, you're gonna hate me now. Oof! Can you believe these fucking rocks? Pissed. Pissed. Whoa! Those rocks are so angry. Wow, how 
how much you think they paid Dwan Ye Johnson to make a cameo in this game. Interesting. Uh oh, well, there goes my owl. Chain battle. Okay, okay, okay. We gotta think of, think this through. Uh, hook wall. Have arrived. I sure don't. <laughs> hey there. So my Rowlet is dead. Sup. Oh, so even Professor decided to join us. Oh god, there he comes with a stupid fucking hat. Yeah, thank goodness I got here in time. As a Pokemon researcher, I could hardly miss out on a chance to observe an alpha now, could I? I suppose it is your business. Fine, as long as you stay out of the way. This is Deer Track Heights. This is where I've long come to play to pay tribute to a special Pokemon. A Pokemon descended from one of those ancients blessed by Almighty Sinnoh. That's not it. That's only a troublemaker. Here to disturb the peace with its racket. And that's what you're here for, Boxer, to drive that interloper from this place. I'll ensure your Pokemon are ready for the battle. Oh, thank God. Upon my word, what a large specimen. Little wonder Alpha Pokemon are feared across the land if they're all oversized this one. Exactly. They're not only big, though. They are strong and make no moves that others of their kind do not. They're not to be tired with, let me tell you. Nevertheless, I believe you are strong, stronger still than this Alpha, so go show it that beyond any, beyond any mistakes. Be careful, Boxer. Size is a, uh, is a potent weapon and, and, and in the end of itself. Know that this Alpha is a powerful and heady for if, oh, if you must face it, make sure your Pokemon have some strong moves at their disposal. <laughs> Alpha Pokemon. Can I move behind it? I sure can. Well, I mean, fuck you. Pokemon, <laughs> their sizes matter. Great. Spin, are you trying to Dark Souls this boss Pokemon? Yes. Oof. 
Oh god. Uh oh. Oh! This is a serious battle. Running is not an option. Jesus Christ. Shake snow. Okay. Sounds like an angry siren head. Oh my god! What? Bro? Fuck you! Bitch. You're really unimpressive one, aren't you? Seeing someone beat an alpha like that, it truly reminds me of the legendary hero of old. Ow, my Pokemon! We'd best make sure your Pokemon are taken care of after facing off against such a foe. Ow, my Pokemon! <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> It's a great weird year. It looks so wise. He looks upon you with kindness, Waxer. I I don't know if kindness is the word I would describe this deer looking at me. I'd say the great weird deer has taken a liking to you. That is fortunate. He has an esteemed Pokemon that can dash across the expenses of Hisui while bearing a human on his back. A human he deems worthy, at least. He is a blessing to us all. Remarkable! Truly outstanding stuff! A Pokemon letting someone ride on it? Why? It's just like the ride Pokemon uh, of Alola. Professor Laventon, boxer! Captain Silene sent me. She said that once Waxer carried out this request, we'd be able to set up a base camp. Uh, about that, I know this was a joint decision by Adam, uh, Adaman and the commander, but still, it is truly fine for us to set up more base camps like this. The Hisui region is the land created by Almighty Sinnoh for the sake of its Pokemon. As long as your goal is to coexist and thrive together with a Pokemon, then I imagine you should also be allowed to use this land. The Great Weirdeer has taken a liking to Voxer as well. This is a good sign. You have my thanks for what you did today. Our clan leader will hear of your how you aided us. I'll come to show my appreciation with a proper word as soon as I can. Awesome. If we want to coexist and thrive with Pokemon, we'll need to stop fearing them and start getting to know them better. That uh, starts with completing the Pokedex. Anyway, we should be able to have that base camp set up once the construction corps arrive. Wow, nice camp. Thumbs up. Here we have it. Our new base camp upon Deer Track Heights. I'll call it the Heights Camp. From now on, when you set out from the village, you can ask to be escorted to this base camp to start your executions directly from here. Having an our base camp to start from will be a great help on our surveys. Nice work today, everyone. Let's say well, head back to the wallflower and eat more of those potato mochis. I'm going to die. Betty, old chum, the use potato mochi, please, and make it for the third today as well. 
Can I please eat something else? I'm so tired of the same thing every single day. Have you all heard the grave news? That frenzied cleaver from the rumors it ended up mauling some of our galaxy folks who went out to investigate it this morning. The medical corpse has had a hard time getting all the injured back on their feet. Ah, this is the cleaver that was uh, reportedly struck by powerful lightning. Yes, I did hear he has been behaving most erratically since then. Still, if further investigation is in order, the survey corpse will, of course, set up to the task. A certain amount of danger is inevitable when researching unfamiliar Pokemon, but I'm sure Voxer can handle things just fine. Are you certain? I've heard Cleaver is so mighty, even Alpha Pokemon don't compare to him. Now, now, you forget that the strengths of Pokemon are key items of information that we of the Servant Corps are duty-bound to research. And since this per perilous work of ours calls for clear-headed fighting fit physique, I do believe a good night's sleep is in order after this fine meal. Mass murder! Yay! Good morning, Maxi! You should hurry to the commander's office before he decides to use you for sumo practice. Why? The fuck? What do you scream like that? I need to save. I don't like that the picture isn't updated with the hair. There, let's hurry to the headquarters. Look who's being punctual! Finally, as you're wasting Almighty Sido's precious time by bowing to a sh sh Wait, what the fuck is going on here? There you go again, insisting on your false image of Almighty Sinnoh as a ruler of time. My people follow the true Almighty Sinnoh, this front of all creation and ruler of space. <laughs> and you could have all that space there uh, and still not know what to do with it. Excuse me, are you really suggesting that you make better use of your time than we make a vast space? He sweeps. Better than some, it's a miracle you showed up on time, oh mighty leader of the Pearl Clan. I worried you'd get lost in the pointlessly vast space you're so fond of and never show up. Me get lost in Almighty Sinnoh's great gift to the Pearl Clan in our world's very bases? The Pearl Clan in our world's very bases? You wish! I wish that I hadn't let myself get dragged into arguing with you. Almighty Sinnoh, forgive me. What a waste of time. I'm off to Commander Kam uh, Kamado's office. I believe it was you who started this. I like their designs. They're at least better than the fucking... <laughs> the fucking Avery. Or Shield Bert. And Swordsword. You can feel the tension when these two show up. You haven't met them, have you? The one with the reverence for space is Irida, leader of the Pearl Clan. The man who was going on and on about time, Adaman, leads the Diamond Clan. The Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan grudgingly coexist at the moment. Apparently things used to be less peaceful. But the boss, I mean, the commander, is waiting. The Pearl Clan is obviously the superior clan, we all know this. We should save this conversation for after you report to him. Platinum Clan died in the crossfire. Oh no. What's even over here? Oh. Oh. Bodice and Bidoof. It seems a band of Bodice and Bidoof keeps sneaking into the village and causing trouble. Okay.
Let's go! Oh god, the quest markers are a little confusing. I hear you caught three different species of Pokemon in your trial. That's no mean feat. I have a job that sees uh, that's perfect for a high achiever like you. See, I need help researching. Ah, it's those pesky Bidoof again. I look away for one second and a little uh, scout knows while it's right into the village. Oh, this is awful. I'm in a complete failure as a member of the security corps. How could I face Captain Zizu like this? No, get a hold of yourself, Tsumugi. Just catch a Bidoof and everything will be fine. But still, three Bidoof is a lot. Two more than I could think could handle on my own, in fact. Oh, I have an idea. I've heard that these particular pests get easily distracted if other Bidoof are nearby uh, and end up letting their guard down on aren't humans. So if you bring a Bidoof to draw their attention, I could seize that chance to catch the little troublemakers. Voila, the perfect plan. If we combine forces, we'll, all, uh, we'll get all three caught in no time at all. Wait. Well, I do have a Bidoof in my team. Wait, are these the Pokemon I caught? They're just chilling here. It's kind of cute. Where are these pesky Hi, Bidoof? Shen. Just wanted to say your laugh makes me smile until my face hurts. Oh, thank you. That's really sweet. I don't think they said where the bee do far, did they? I just have to go find them? Alright, let me do the right call. Where are you, you little bitches? I just went around the entire town. <laughs> Ooh, what's back here? Nothing. Actually, nothing. I actually feel like a dumbass. It seems like I act actually missed them. Unless they're out here? Oh, do I maybe... Wait, maybe I do have to show her that I have a Bidoof. Where each of those pesky bidoof waddle off to. Remember, they should let their guard down as long as you have another bidoof with you. Hold on. So, no, they're definitely around. Oh, no, I'm bad with these kind of quests. Alright, where's my fucking Bidoof? No, I'm bad with this shit! I hate it! That's the Weasel guy. I have bad eyesight. can really do hide and seek if they load in. Caught it. Great going, team. Uh. Oh, there is another one. No hide and seek, just hide. Huh? 
How's the game been so far? Uh, I... Would you like help? No, I do not want help. Oh, I was hoping it was behind here. What about a cookie? Holiday cookie. <laughs> oh, my eyes. I'm just trying to figure out where the last one could be. I wonder if it's in the middle of the town. I was I was something would ha <laughs> oh. I'm just so worried. I keep missing it because it loads in late. I hope that's not the case. I, I can't go through there. Too thick! Too thick! Oh... What is going on over here? Shrine Guardian, watch over us. Protective charms? Stay in good health. Yes, I'll take it. Yay! Warning charm. A mysterious charm that holds the power to protect the person from being afflicted with... Oh, no, I'm good. Motherfucking be doof, am I right? I, I genuinely think I. I have ice train problems. This is garbage. Wait. Oh, damn it. I was hoping I could drown myself. <laughs> <laughs> I probably ran by it like three times now. And I, the only reason I haven't, uh, like, seen it yet is because I'm blind. Unless it went out here, and then I'm mad. Did this fucking Bidoof go, down, go out here? Did you? No, it didn't. <laughs> I don't think there's overworld mu music in the very first area. Yeah. I feel very nervous now. So one was over here, one was over there. Eyes. Ice. 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 Ah. Wait, can you go up here? Oh my god, you can. I swear, where is this god dang bidoof? I've been everywhere now! Oh, you can't... Well, guess I'm stuck back here. Oh, 
I'll say whenever I'm ready to just throw the towel. Because I... I am blind. Alright. One more look down the street. And then I'm gonna play hot and cold. Never mind, found it. Fuck you guys. Did it without a hit. That fucking Bidoo blended in. Hold on! I'd be ashamed to just send those Bidoof back into the wild, no? My construction corps could find a use for them. Huh? You want to keep them? But these naughty nibblers have caused so much trouble for the construction corps. They're just Pokemon being Pokemon. How are they supposed to know our village is a strict no-chewing zone? Shows good taste on their part to come all the way here to gnaw on our woodwork, too. But if they're gonna stay here, they'll have to help with our work. They've got the guts to keep trying to get into the village, plus it's heaved to mash for trees and rocks. Just what our corps need. How about it, little ones? Meals taste better after a day's work, you know. Just what I wanted to hear. Hmm, I'm not convinced this lot have it in them to do an honest day's works. But if Sanqua's watching over them, I'm sure it'll work out alright. So I guess that's that settled. Thanks again for your help. Awesome. A naughty Bidoof get forced into manual labor for their crimes. Well, at least I finished that request. Uh, that means I am further ahead with the Bidoof. With the Bidoof. The Doofsters. Yeah. So I gotta defeat the Bidoof like six more times and catch it a bunch more times. Oh god. I also gotta defeat the heavy. It is heavy spec. I assume heavy specimen isn't what I think it is. It's not the alpha versions, right? Then how do you know what a heavy version is? They are visibly larger than others. Interdasting. Time to fucking ruin some... Some boys. <laughs> Woo! God, these B-Doof are so fucking... Tanky. If I throw from B, oh my god. Oh, like you can see here that the. Uh, that that one is larger than the other one. Oh, 
Oh, it's gone anyways. Oh, sh Nope, it's right there. Well, I wouldn't say that's noticeably larger. It's just a little bit larger. Am I enjoying the game so far? Yeah, it's fun. But I just, I just wish it wasn't this ugly. Genuinely. I. Hey there. You don't see me. <laughs> uh, ugly? You're telling me this game is pretty. Unfortunately, I don't think so. Imagining Voxer taking a nap with all his cute Pokemon makes me happy. Oh, I did catch a heavy specimen. Artistic style graphic quality. Man. You know what is artistic style? You know what is artistic style? Um. Hold on. I can't believe I'm doing this. This is artistic style. This is not artistic style. Pokemon fans, please stop defending everything about Pokemon challenge. It's like, it's like people are fine with getting hand-fed mediocre shit. Everybody knows the Pokemon company could do so much better in graphics. One only needs to look at the grass. Why must it look like that? There's like a lot that this game does right. Visually, it does not. It does not. Wait, where, where the fuck is it? Ugh. The things that it does right. The UI looks fucking fantastic. Evolving looks fucking fantastic. Like, this looks sick. Smooth Butterfree does not look sick. A uh, uh, butterfly, butter, butterfly. Sorry. <laughs> so smooth. I just God. I think it is also a bit of an insult that stuff loads in on screen. Um, I wouldn't say that. It's just... I don't, I don't know how to explain it. Hey, you. Oh, that was another heavy specimen?
Bidoof, please. Where's my owl? My owl was in the grass. Uh oh. Youch. Rowlet is a ninja. <laughs> How many Badoo 4 crimes will be committed before this is over? I just noticed something. Are you... Ah, the old style graphics. <laughs> Just now That's I'm a big wordpole! Huh? Yeah. I never said it was bad, I just... I just thought it was funny. Man, I lost the big wormple. Now I'm sad. I need to find more Bidoof. I need to finish the Bidoof. More wormies. Oh, found the Bidoofs. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> no! Doof! Wait, that one was heavy? Chungus. Wahoo, wahoo. No, that water will kill me. The horses! The horses! No! Oh, big horse! I do not want to anger the big horse. Huh? 
good. <laughs> you know, those big, those alpha Pokemon kind of look like they used inner release, but never turned it off. Huh. Okay. All right. Numbers defeated. I'm very close. Wait. Did I not finish the Bidoof quest? Oh. Did I never hand that in? Oops. Hello, can I help you? Don't run into the water, you'll die! <laughs> Minty Fresh, thank you so much for the sub, I appreciate it. Uh, my nose is acting up. I think that's karma. Everybody say of love. Huh? Huh? <laughs> ah, how? Ah, thank you, Anonymous, for the one euro. Can resub. What's the vibe about it so far? Uh, it's fine. But once again, people love to, I guess. I don't know. I knew how this stream was gonna go. Oh my god, my nose! The karma is hitting so hard now. I'm gonna die. <sighs> Go blow your damn nose. Ah, yes, let me just uh, do that for the next uh, two hours as I have nostril problems. Dililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililil
You know, I think I would have less issues with this game if reviewers weren't hearing it as the next coming uh, of Jesus Christ. Yeah, well. Hey, Badoof. Gotta defeat you. Two more times. Ba 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 ba. Fuck, Beedoof. Nice. Ooh, f four out of... Wait, hold on. I think my cat wants it. The music scared me. I was like, bop, bop, bop. <laughs> Hi, cat. I love you too. What's the cat doing? Messing around. Being a nuisance. What else? Nah, he just came back inside from being outside for a really long time. He's my little boy. But wants to fucking fight me. Whoa! Whoa! You're angry at me! Oh, you're trying to steal me! Hold on. Rascal? Stop! Stop! Come here! Come here! See? This is the comment I had towards this game. The idea? Very okay. Like, the idea with the free roaming, the battle mechanics, very good. The missions could end up incredibly repetitive. to fight more Badoof. No. Wasn't down here the really angry, like, Lugzio?
<laughs> oh no! Look at the way I'm trying to go up the hill! <laughs> you feel like Elden Ring is gonna set the standards? For game for open world games when they come out, I don't think so. Um, I think the way that Elden Ring went, or at least presented itself uh, during the open network test, Beep. it was very interesting. But I think that only. Let's put it like this. Dark Souls has always been, in theory, open world. Because it never had loading zones. Well, unless you obviously went teleporting from bonfire to bonfire. But you can go from point A to point B without a problem. So you could go all the way from, uh, what do you call it? From, um... High Wall of Lothric? No, no, the fucking Undead Parish. All the way through, uh, fucking, on the, uh, you can go literally all the way to Irithyll in one swoop. Dark Souls has mastered, has mastered the no loading zone. Because they, the, the world connections and stuff, it's just, it's the master of that. Ooh, almost two star. The travel to Enter Londo was like a loading screen, no? Uh, oh, I'm, uh, uh, I guess with Dark Souls 1, yes. I was talking about Dark Souls 3, specifically. And that's a game that I still think looks fucking beautiful. No, the Bidoof for gone! I'm leaving. Okay. I need to evolve a Bidoof. I mean, I have a Bidoof in my party, so that should come naturally. Um... But Dark Souls has so has too many skeletons. What do you mean? I want my own skeleton army. Coward. Can't handle skeletons. You're just scared once your skeleton starts hatching. I should swap one of my Starly in my party. No, I will not. If you want to, if you want to backseat so badly, go play it yourself. Oh wait, you can't. Ha <laughs> dabs. Wait. <laughs> I still need to catch five, three more heavies. Do the cots correlate with the heavies cot? I assume so. And then I gotta defeat one more Bidoof. I just wanna finish one and see what happens, if it's worth it. 
That's my personally favorite Pokemon, Turtwig. Yo, Frosty Orca, thank you so much for the uh, for the 13 months. Hey, Chef, what is your bank account info? Hold on, let me get the code. <laughs> Since I can choose to evolve, am I gonna keep all my Pokemon babies? Nah. I want my cool Ronin, uh, Pokemon. Wow! Where did that Bidoof go? Send a cool best starter. I mean, you're fine to have a wrong opinion, but. <laughs> Big Starly. Hello, Shinpai. New to your stream, but really enjoy the vids you post on YouTube. Hope you're enjoying Pokemon Legends Arceus so far. Yes. Oh no, start a discussion? Yeah, that's what I mean with the uh, wrong opinion. I hate people who start discussions like that because all Pokemon are personalized for people. It's like discussing favorite Animal Crossing villagers. That Rapidash is glitching. Ah, oh, that didn't count. Ah. All right, never mind. It's fine. Come on, Chunky Bidoof! Look at those Bweezels! Okay. Well, how did that Starly a little higher than this one? Oh, because that Starly fucking died. If Pokemon were real, what team would I have? Five billion Turtwigs. You don't see me. 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 Don't worry. We're working it out. <laughs> no. 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 Got it. <laughs> Get fucked.
Did it just fucking fall over? Yay! We caught the Eevee! Nice. Wow, I need to catch like 10 more. Oh my god. I just want to see what happens when you like finish it, you know? my nose. Ah! It's- <laughs> You get a golden star sticker in real life from Masuda himself. Awesome. My poor nose. I never said my method was uh was smart. I'm just saying I'm trying. Watch this snipe. Watch the snipe. Fuck. Watch the snipe. Fuck. Watch this snipe. God. Watch the snipe. No way. <laughs> I'm just not going to talk about it. I'm bored. I'll do it later. The cello, cello, cello. Did they show the mid forms of the new starters as well? I don't think they have a different mid form. Oh my god, big money. Even though it would be interesting if they had a different mid form. <laughs> Hell yeah. Alright, awesome. Wait, no, I didn't want to continue. No, I want to leave. Pokemon battles, but put the Doom soundtrack. Awesome. Love that. <laughs> okay, all the way up. Let's go. Sending you some cold medicine in this trying time. Thanks, I'm gonna need it. Boxer the White House. What do you intend to do about the Cleaver Commander Commando? He may be descended from a warrior of Almighty Sinnoh, but look at the mess he's causing. Sinnoh, but look at the mess. Oh, wait. I fucking just read the same thing over. <laughs> we can't sit back and let him rage on. 
You do get right to the point, Adaman. Time wasted is lost. Well, tell me, what would you have us do? Cleaver is precious lord, uh, lord of the Pearl Clan, is he not? That's the point. My clan can't intervene directly where a lord of the Pearl Clan is concerned. If my people were to do something, our two clans might end up back at each other's throats, just like we used to be. But even folk of the galaxy team have been wounded, haven't they? Seems someone's got to do something here. Who then? Would the Diamond Clan have the Pearl Clan bring down one of its own honored nobles? I don't believe I said that, though it may be. You might as well have said it, you fool. Look, we don't even know what drove Lord Cleaver into such a violent frenzy. I'd like to know that myself. This is the first as far as my clan knows, too. Hmm. I see you've arrived. This is Voxer, the newest member of our survey corps. Aha, here from my, you earned Weird Deer's favor. Good to finally meet you, stranger from the rift. I'm Adaman, leader of the Diamond Clan, if you want to be formal. But that's a mouthful. Just call me Adaman. Dude, your eyes are huge. I mean, everybody's eyes are huge, but they're so pointy. If you came from beyond the space time rift, could you be from the space where Almighty Sinnoh is said to reside? I'm Irida, leader of the Pearl Clan. Caution and foresight are my watch words. Well, I don't know what I just said. I'm fucking dying. Which is why I have trouble believing such a tale. Could you really have passed through that rift? Yes, this is an e yes, this is an isekai. I have a proposition. Why not send this one to study Cleaver before deciding what must be done? You'd send this stranger who supposedly fell from the rift to study Cleaver. This newcomer with no experience. Says the leader with almost no experience. Hello! Being a good leader isn't a matter of time. It's a matter of embracing Hisui's vastness without fear. Well then, there Hi, you have it. I don't want to get spoiled, so I can't watch, but I hope you're having fun. Thank you for the 21 months! I love you! Let's give the kid his chance. I'm sold, Commander. Let's try this your way. This should be fun. I'll get to see how good you galaxy folk really are with all your weird ways. Putting poke one of those strange balls and what have you. The whole practice bothers me! All I still made Hisui vast so Pokemon could live freely throughout. We're meant to stand alongside Pokemon, not count ourselves above them. We do not use Pokeballs for the desire to control our Pokemon, only so that we can live together. Allow us to show you what we can do. Ah, yes. This is your mission now, Voxer. I order you to study Cleaver and help us find the truth of the situation. <laughs> yeah. Actually, we do control our Pokemon. Mm. Forcefully. Remember that you are a stranger who appeared one day out of the vast sky above us. People are naturally suspicious of your presence here. If you wish to be fully accepted and trusted, you must work hard. Work yourself to the very bone. God, I fucking wish my nose wouldn't do this right now. Well, that's settled, and there's no time like the present. The Lord of the Woods Cleaver is descended from a Pokemon that was blessed with Almighty Sinnoh's power and power. No other Pokemon you've yet encountered can compare to his strength. Be warned. Listen to me. The Galaxy Expedition Team has come to the Hisui region as a group of outsiders. Some might even call us interlopers. We mustn't do anything to threaten our relations with the Diamond and Pearl Clans, understand? Join me downstairs, Voxer. We'll cover the details of this new mission. We don't control our Pokemon proceeds to battle them for entertainment. Uh -huh. Eevee! Hmm. The small Eevee does a noise. What's over here? Illusionary doors. I...
Oh, Freunde! Wir können ja einen guten Teil! Wir haben uns einen Tipp angestellt, wisst ihr? Ja, hey, hey! Wir haben uns einen Tipp angestellt, wir haben uns einen Tipp angestellt, wir haben uns einen where the fuck did she go? Hold on. Oh, fuck. I'm pressing the wrong buttons all the time. Did the player actually get isekai Yes. Here to, yes, here, take the Geodude. I don't want it anymore. You can have it. Oh my, would you look at that? Let me just look at a rock, and it seems to be the ideal way, too. Oh, it's simply perfect. Thank you, young man. With this Geodude's help, I'll surely make some scrumptious pickles. Oh, and so it begins using Pokemon for dumbass reasons. Dude! Yeah, just some dude. This is so sad. Even the Geo dude wants to fucking die now. Argue, right, Dono. Thank you so much for the six months. Arceus hunting time. I need to uh, what's it called? Get a uh. Big Bidoof. Okay, more item village name more wants everyone to know about the crafting recipe by using mushrooms. Where the fuck do you find the mushroom from? Okay, time to look in the second area. So what do you want? All right, if a Pokemon starts eyeing me, I'll fling an orange berry. Then run while it's distracted. If I just stick to the plan, I'll be fine. Oh, Super Corpse Boy! I was just headed out to the field lands to get uh, to gather to go gather tumble stones, but I've gotten as many as orange berries as I'd like. Are you filling with orange berries? There's still some HP to Pokemon that eat them, so you might uh, so as you might imagine, Pokemon tend to be very interested in them. Uh, Frog Orn Berry is a great to distract and avoid wild Pokemon theory. Uh, with that, could I trouble you to gather five Orn Berries? Yes. I already have those. Here you go. I have like 37 of those. Here you go. I gratefully accept. Gosh, I can't believe you just went to the trouble of finding these just for me. Not really, but... I'm sure you meant to say happy to help, right? Sure you did, you generous soul. Let's just tuck these away in my satchel. I won't let your kindness go to whist. Oh, God. Okay. I'm looking forward to see the Elden Ring. Also, I've been listening to Jula theme during a sleep near in sleep. Dude, I want. Uh oh. Wow! Those Stantlers ain't fucking around, dude. Holy shit. 
Uh-oh. Just walk, just walk, just walk past, just walk past. You're fine, you're fine. Nothing can hurt you. It's just a rock. There's a rattling tree right there. Saw you playing with an honest review in the title, so how are you liking it? Legit saw someone early on today uninstall the game live because they got sick of constantly being stopped by cutscenes every few minutes in a three hour stream. Um, that's a bit weird. Uh, I don't think, <laughs> I, I genuinely don't think, uh, the cutscenes are the issue in this game. Can burn me? I'm gonna kill it if I use Gust. Yep. I knew it. I am a dumb idiot. Dumb idiot, dumb baby man. Dumb idiot. What else can we find over here? That's a big buizel. Excuse me? Ooh. Is it a big one? Yes, it's a large one. Wait, I could collect the... Oh, okay. I guess fuck me then. It didn't let me get the wood. Rude. Christ, oh dear. How? Oh, God. Oh! Um, 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 yeah, maybe, maybe not. Nah. Uh, I'm going to go. It's the camp. Oof. Here we go. I just need to go back to the thing and hand in my Pokemon. Mm -hmm. 
big be doof. Wait, I'm going back. Oop. It's foggy! Foggy! So has the stream title been accurate or have I been enjoying the game? Well, I I was br I am brutally honest about this game. I think it looks awful. <laughs> And what Pokemon Company could give us? Yeah. I, I'm not a fan of it. Oh, the Venus just hang out here now. But is it fun? Initially, yes. I'm still trying to figure out if it's just going to become repetitive. Yes, I have bought... I have brought you a bigger Buizel. I think. I'm looking for a bigger one. 2-8? Didn't I... Hello? Then I guess that wasn't big enough. As someone who grew up on mobile games, I don't mind graphics. Again, that's fucking... I swear to God, everybody says that. I genuinely feel like... Uh, I, I give up, dude. I give up. Uh. I don't know how to explain it more. <laughs> It's not- I'm not even attacking people, I'm just like, I'm- it's just so sad, personally. Um, that Game Freak has brainwashed people so badly that this is what to them is revolutionary. When you play video games for a living, you know what kind of games exist out there. We're currently on the way for games to become not only $60, but $80. The, the small details in this, like if you saw this, they will be fine, right? This is, this is completely fine. But if you look at this, you're like, what went wrong? It's just weird. Uh, it's a very slippery slope when you think about game design because a lot of people a lot of people, when you when you criticize um, graphics and stuff, people think you're calling the graphic designers lazy, or the people who are creating the stylized stuff lazy, which is not the case. Game Freak has a very huge history of their like their tools being outdated. Uh, they're uh, them refusing to get a bigger team and investing in this kind of stuff. The higher ups just want to are just greedy. <laughs> they're expecting these poor people to dish out a masterpiece to save the game franchise when all they do is sit on a pile of fucking money. <laughs>
I, I'm just gonna say it. You have now, like, you have current video games that, like, beat out this by a fucking mile. And the sad thing is, what this game does, it's revolutionary for Pokemon. Sure, yes. But when you put it compared to all other games, it's like you're starting to think like... At that point, I just feel bad that Pokemon fans got so brainwashed by thinking that they can't get better when they 100% can. Wait, what was I? Right. And so many people think that criticism is is meant to tear down Pokemon. D dude, we want these games to be good. I want... I genuinely want these games to be good because I love Pokemon. I also grew up with Pokemon. And even I can be like, dude, they fucking robbed us. <laughs> it's the same with Kingdom Hearts 3. It's just like... People need to stop taking criticism and thinking it's us wanting to demolish the market or like the, the fucking franchise. Or we're saying it because we hate it and just want to be mad at it. No, we want them to be good because we know they can be. Wait, I went down here in the fucking... Oh, wait, no, the weasels are still around. Good thing. <gasps> Whoop. I'm scared of Drifloon. It's going to kill me. But these things are a fucking menace. Please, Drifloon, I just want to get to the fucking weasels. Please, I just want to get to the fucking weasels! Come here! This thing is all so aggressive! It's mad at me! <laughs> I just, I just, I just wanna. And I do, I, the thing is, I do this, I do this talk every single time with Pokemon, like, people, or like with the Pokemon fan base, because they're so closed off that they do reverse gatekeeping that like oh yeah you're a pokemon fan you criticize one thing oh yeah you're no longer a pokemon fan wait no that's normal gatekeeping right i'm, I'm missing it up i'm messing it up yeah yeah, it's normal. Like, it's just normal gatekeeping. Wanting the same shit every single time isn't bad. I mean, look at Dark Souls. Dark Souls is found foundationally the same thing over and over, just with some extra stuff. And, you know, well, I mean, <laughs> even though that's not true most of the time. Oh, shit!
That is a huge weasel. If this doesn't meet the criteria, I'm gonna be mad. That's a level 2 Buizel. How do I know if it's the right size? Those trees are shaking. Hold on. Listen, everybody, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna give a good example. Everybody fucking loved, uh, um, um, Mega Evolution, right? Everybody loved Mega Evolution. What did they do with it? They fucking got rid of it. Wrong? Okay. Guess what I'm saying is ass. No, I from genuinely a lot of people from what I saw everybody loved Mega Evolution because it was something different. Are you a big shinx? No, you're not. Japanese Mandas Core 20 underscore gifted a tier one sub to Milketh Esquid. I'm about they to have leave given too. 13 gift subs in the channel. Hey, if I'm I'm just saying if people are upset that we're having this discussion. Um, I did say I was going to be brutally honest about the game. People are not are not subjected to listen to this. You can just leave the stream. <laughs> and then... They replaced something with uh, with Dynamaxing, which people thought was weird. But then, but then people started to get okay with Dynamaxing, uh, and now it's probably not coming back as well. Bear me. I'm just saying that because a lot of people think they, like, have to, like, stay around. When I know that a lot of people don't like discussing, you know, things. Some people just don't give a shit, right? Some people don't care. They don't need to listen to people constantly complain about a game that they enjoy, right? Which is 100% understandable. Uh, some people just want to enjoy a game. <laughs> uh, I think there was a game that I had the same feelings towards. I just don't remember which one it was. Oh no! No! <laughs> um Okay I still don't know where these mushrooms are that this one person talked about. 
Oh fuck. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. Nope, never mind. Eee. Ooh, that tree is, uh, shaking. Me. Get fucked, nerd. Milky, I don't entirely agree. They had some good 3D work. Um, especially with uh, Alpha and uh, like uh, Alpha Re and. Beta Sapphire. <laughs> and Omega, uh, yeah. Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. But you just can't get, like, you cannot beat the sprite work from Black and White. I genuinely think that ha that Black and White is the best the company has ever produced. And from what I know, a lot of people fucking love black and white, too. Oh, and I'm just going to say it, Pokemon Ranger was also really fucking fun, even though I broke my DS with it. <laughs> um, how? Well, you know. <laughs> you know. You're just sitting there. Here's your DS. Uh, look, uh, ignore how chunky the DS is, okay? And I don't know. There's like fucking... Uh... What was a really strong, like, I think there was, like, a Charizard that I wanted to get, and it was, like, really hard. Hold on. All right, Entei, too. Hold on. Looks like I'm making Bahamut here. Ugh. But I would stand there and do this. Right? You'd sit there and do this the entire time, like, really fast. You'd go, like... <laughs> and I remember uh, that I thought that the harder you pressed... I was a stupid kid. That the harder you pressed... Um, the easier it was to do it. So, uh, one day, my fucking DS just... <laughs> we managed to fix it, but... Yo slash it's me. Karizardo, the franchise mascot of Pokemon. I still have that DS. And it looks... Absolutely fucking destroyed. I can't show it, unfortunately, because I have it in one of the boxes. I don't remember where it was. What was I doing? Alright, checking my Pokemon. Well, 
Wait, is that two six? I think one of the reasons why modern is the way that is, is no. because of the initial poor reception of black and white in reviews and sales. People may like them now, who knows if we'll see a game like them again. Oh. Uh, I mean, no, we won't. Pokemon would have gotten this, this route regardless. Where do we see the size? Two, four. Two, six! There it is! Two, six! Here. Here it is. The bigger buizel. It's so big. Wait, you want two eight? Ten months, wow. Ah! Also, since I just got here, how is the game? I already checked the other buizels. Two six is the biggest I have. <sighs> so madge, just madge. Still, probably the coolest evolution animation. Oh, whoa. Oh my god, oh no. Finally. I can teabag. Hiya. Hiya. Oh no, I just realized you can teabag an Elden Ring now. Oh. <laughs> Hold on. Oh. Bro, I don't know where your mushrooms are. Bro, I don't know where your fucking mushrooms are. You goddamn cretin. I just want Elden Ring so badly. One might have till Elden Ring. God, I have so many games to play. I actually feel like I'm gonna have a meltdown. Elden Ring looks like a better black... Uh, b what? B b a black? Bla Breath of the Wild.
Oh, really? There, there we go. No, you're not going to hold. Sadly, I'll have to watch the rest on the VOD. Hope you enjoy playing. I need to sleep. There's totally Goodbye something up there. Let me up there. Yeah! Case in. Unrelated to games. But are you excited for the Legend of Vox Machina animated show tomorrow? I would. If, um... If it wasn't so gory. So I can't watch it. Oh, I should not be throwing my weasel. Oh, fuck, this Rapidash is gonna fuck me up. Alright, well, let's go. Oops, I missed. I missed again. Oh my god, why is it level 40? We're out of here. We're out of here. Yep. Mm hmm. Yep. Fuck you. Yeah, but why is it level 40 in the first zone? Hello, Boizels. I still don't know where these... I still don't know where these fucking mushrooms are. I'm gonna go fucking crazy. Hi, Wurples. Aren't you already? You know what? I'm not gonna be attacked like this. I have standards. <laughs> Don't comment, chat. I know you want to. That worked. No, it didn't. That sure didn't. Hey. <laughs> yes. It's level fourteen. God, I'm so bad with the menuing. Are you fucking kidding me? So, if I fall down here, will I fucking die? You can't see me. I'm not here. Woo! Oh, I've angered every single Zubad. Oh, woo. Oh, um, that terrain did not just load in.
Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Ay, 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 With that shot, I'm the best. Oh! Level 15. Oh, these companies are nice. Okay. I don't think I was supposed to be here. Nope. Ow! Ow, 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 ow. Go, yo, yo. I'm out of here. <laughs> nice. Fuck yeah. Hold on. Ah, oh, my nose. Okay. My owl can evolve. Oh, my shanks can evolve. I really like that the eyes glow. It's really cool during the evolution animation. Cool. 
caught. I, uh... Oh, thank God. Is the game good? It's fine. Nothing to write home about. Still don't know where that goddamn mushroom is. What do we have up here? Oh. What is in this direction? I. No. No. No, oh God. Yuppers. That is indeed a three frame Gyarados. Gyarados has worse ping than I do at Apex. <laughs> okay, let's see. I need to evolve a Starly three times? Really? Can you jump? No. Can I drown myself in that water? <laughs> Hi. Smalls. So many small creatures. There's, the problem is just, uh, the first thing I notice is that this game just has a whole lot of nothing. <laughs> Let me up. I 
I need you. Oh, I see the little Paris down there. Nice! Oh god, they're aggressive. Oh god, they're aggressive. Wahoo! Wait, is this not are, are these the mushrooms? No. This is a fucking what do you mean I don't have space in my satchel? What do you mean? Where the fuck am I? Wow, I didn't know they were still coming out with games for the PS2. <laughs> Oh my god. Yep, that's a big ass fucking bee barrel. Hello. Hello, little Starly. How are you doing? Welcome to, uh,. Whatever is happening here. KT! Hello, KT! Oh, I can evolve my fucking, uh, bebo, 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 bebo. Evolve it! Do it! Yep. Have a barrel. A big fucking barrel. Awesome. I love Pokemon. Oh, I love Burmese. You can't run because I will catch you. Hey Shen, just gonna drop by to well. say hi cause I don't wanna spoil the game for myself. Hope you're enjoying the game. Huh, thanks Frost. Uh, enjoying is a word that is happening. It's kind of like... It's bad because I feel with how much I've played in the last five hours, I feel like I've already experienced the entire game. You know... You know. I hope I haven't. Like, genuinely, I hope I, I'm just wrong.
Oh, right. I forgot to... I'm a fucking idiot. Yeah, I've been I've been playing it for five hours. <laughs> hey there. Oh, good, you're already here. Professor Levington, the briefing, if you please. Yes, let's get right to it. So, Voxer, I understand you've been requested to find out the cause of Cleaver's frenzied state. But as you're aware by now, Cleaver is a mighty thing, nigh invincible even. The security corps tried to throw Pokeballs at Cleaver when they were attacked, but I'm afraid they didn't even come close to catching him. Seems uh, he's fa a far trickier opponent than even those aggressive species of Pokemon that cannot be caught outside of battle when sterile. I'd like to prove uh, perfectly clear on this point. This mission will put you in extreme danger. Do you believe you can handle it? <laughs> Not particularly. Well, you have no choice in the matter. <laughs> Fuck it, okay! It doesn't matter. You will die. <laughs> Let us go over the details you need to know. You have a mission to carry out. The Diamond and Pearl clans revere their nobles because they believe these Pokemon serve their almighty Sinnoh. They leave offerings to express their gratitude to these Pokemon locations they call the Noble Seats. So perhaps a good starting point for our research could be to find out what sort of offerings they normally leave for this Cleaver. Boxer, we need to speak with you! Listen, that rift in space-time seems like it connects this world to a whole other world. That world might be where Almighty Sinnoh itself resides. The true Almighty Sinnoh, that is. The other... the one that rules over time! So if you fell for the space-time rift, that might mean you traveled through time by Almighty Sinnoh's own power. Think of it, you must have been just swimming in this divine might. Well, I've got a favor to ask of you, oh amazing time travel. Don't just study Cleaver, quell his frenzy. Yeah, okay, they're just fine with me time traveling. Well, you certainly caught us at a good time, young Adaman. We were just discussing our next steps with regard to this whole Cleaver situation. Oh, you must be the galaxy-themed scholar I've heard about. Good to meet you, Mr. Professor. Share some of that knowledge with me sometimes. Now, let me elaborate a little. Those Pearl Clan types have a lot of respect for Cleaver. You heard his title, Lord of the Woods. I'm sure they'd rather get his under control, too, but it's hard for them to come right out and ask. Uh, those of the galaxy team of all people for help. And the truth is, we the Diamond Clan have a similar problem in our hands. A Pokemon dear to us, off in the mountains, has flown into the same type of frenzy as Cleavor. Now, there's certainly bad blood between us and the Pearl Clan, but still, we've all got to share a history, and that means we ought to tackle our problems together. But there aren't many capable of standing up to such powerful Pokemon. You're the best hope we've got. You'll find Cleaver at Grand Tree Arena. That's at the very heart of the Heartwood. His warden is a boy named Leon. Leon is a brilliant shy, but also a bit, well, sometimes brilliance can be blinding, you know. He'll tell you all about this beloved Cleaver. Whether you wish him to know, uh, to or not. Anyways, I'm sure you're up to the challenge, so we'll be counting on you. See you later. He certainly left quickly once he finished talking. I suppose he really values his time. <laughs> Adaman and Mai weren't wrong, you know. If you're too study and perhaps even quell Cleaver, you'd best start by visiting his abode. Time travel? Yes, this is an isekai. Our new heights camp would be a handy place for setting out towards Grand Tree Arena. And you should stop by the pastures too. You'll want to choose the best Pokemon to bring. Yeah, I mean... Finding yourself unable to pick up the materials you come across satchel always seeming full? If that sounds like you'd be advised to lend me your ear a moment and hear what I have to say. Why do you sound like a salesman? You can carry on even more in that satchel of yours if you learn the trick to packing things in. I can teach you if you like. What do you say? Teach me. Yeah, sure. If you want to be able to carry even more things, there's more I can teach you. What? Teach me. Sure. Sure. 
Sure. Oh, okay. I mean, we can keep going. We can- we, we can keep going, dude. Yeah, just... Yeah. It's, yeah, let's keep going. Just, just keep- just keep going. Just- just keep on going. Let's go! A thousand now! Awesome. Thanks. You there. You seem like uh, someone who enjoys a bit of crafting. Do you think you could help me out with something? I'd be very, very grateful if you tried to craft something using a special race you came up with. So without further ado, here's the recipe. Awesome, thanks. Oh, okay. Three logs of wood. Oh god. Do I even have wood? I don't. I still need to find a big weasel. How are things, my good friend? I certainly hope you're putting that secret backstrike technique I taught you to good use. Either way, I have some super potions here just for you. I'll think nothing of it. Having the servant corpse out and about studying Pokemon is great for business, you know. Supporting me now is actually an investment in my own fortunes. Awesome. And now I must depart. There are runes that are just calling to me. Okay. I need to find a wood. Oh, right. Here you go. Fuck. What do you mean completed it? What does that even fucking mean? No, they said the same thing about Starly. I completed... I... They said complete the Pokedex for Starly, which I never did. And that worked. Where the fuck? I need to find... A five eight weasel. Leave me alone. Uh, two eight, not two, not five eight. Two eight weasel. Imagine a five eight weasel. Why does Pokemon look better than Breath of the Wild? That's the first time I've seen someone say that. It... it really doesn't. That Boizel won't leave me alone. It won't stop turning towards me. I'm actually going to commit a war crime against this Buizel.
funny how they always know where I am. I hate Boizolds. Boizolds are the worst Pokemon, I just decided. They are awful little weasels. Oh! Touch the Bidoof? No. the wrong thing. Oh well. Get in a Pokeball! to find a big weasel. But the big weasel is hiding. Um, that's a floatzel. What the fuck? There we go. You gave it a concussion? It deserves it. <laughs> well, that's mean. get attacked by a float so that was a large specimen as well but I don't know if it was the right size this game makes me want to commit a war crime <laughs> What the fuck? Someone lost their satchel. I genuinely feel like a fucking idiot because I can't menu. Bye. How's the game so far? Mm, okay. Holy sh! Uh, 
That's a big fuck a bird. Mine. Nice. Those Starlies are really huge. Nice. How am I enjoying? <laughs> you know. Fuck. Leave me alone. Ah, <laughs> you bitch. I can't even see you. Would I stream this game again? Yeah, probably not. Like, maybe? Not as a playthrough. Because this... This isn't even fun to watch, I feel. Like I'm just doing the same thing over and over again. Poke them on. I want a big bleasel. Two eight. How's the game? <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's a video game. Oh. Oh. I've angered it! <sighs> I'll skip it, lol. Thanks for the review. I mean, do you see what I'm doing? That's all I'm pretty much doing for the rest of the game. Also, it doesn't... I mean... Watch it for a little bit and get your own opinion. <laughs> because, I mean, I'm just... I could play the main scenario. Main scenario? The main quest? But I feel like I'm underleveled for the main quest. Because I'm... I genuinely don't really know the perfect way to level up yet. Level doesn't matter. Your Pokemon team level does matter. What do you mean? The last time I fought the main quest Pokemon, it fucking beat my ass in. That's why. The menuing is gonna drive me crazy. <laughs> I 
Okay, I still don't... I... Don't... I fucking... I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die, guys. My nose. Oh. Oh. This is... Honestly... So what someone said is right. This is a game that you play on the side while watching YouTube videos or doing something else. Like, I feel people who do that kind of stuff, who like writing and stuff, they'll enjoy this. Um, I just completely forgot where I was supposed to go with my main quest. Hold on. Well, oh, you can see the quests here. Newer quests. How far do I have to go for this? Oh no, Kenna! <laughs> I mean, that's fair. There. Oh my god, it's all the way over that. Over there? All the way over there! Ay ay ay! Monster Hunter is so different than this. Um, I mean, I did compare it to Monster Hunter, but only because of its style. AKA the, uh... Wait, can I drop off a cliff? Well, I mean, yes, but I'm like, how badly will I die if I fall off a cliff? That parasite is evil. Evil. <laughs> Who the fuck is this nerd? Hello. Have you ever come across a tree shaking and swaying? I expect Pokemon are up in the. Yeah, I mean, I know that. Thanks. Oh dear. Just run, just run. Art. Bro, those bee barrels are just kind of chilling. Bad. Bye. Oh my God, it's another angry bee barrel. Don't mind me. I'm just coming through. Sorry, sir. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Are you seeing this? Oops! 
I meant to throw Pokeball, but this is fine too. That bunny was just sitting in the river. Uh oh. Fuck. Nice. Side up. I've angered the Psyduck, please. What the fuck? It's... Oh my god. Yeehaw, partner! I'm Leon of the Pearl Clan! The Warden to Cleaver! The Lord of the Woods! And you, I already educated you! I deduced that you've come here to meet Cleaver, am I right, aren't I? Of course I am! I can see it so clearly! <laughs> After all, the powerful awesome Cleaver has become even more awesomely powerful! Brave said strange lightning the other day was almighty sent us divine power. But when everyone was struck by Lord left them imbued with awesome might. So I must turn you away, even if it pains me. It's too dangerous for you to be a cleaver right now. <laughs> That's nothing. Truly, you may need to simply give up. Is your passion for cleaver so palsy? <laughs> but well, I'm afraid the passion is not the real issue here. I've been told in no certain ta uncertain times, <laughs> terms, goddamn, <laughs> uncertain terms, but you know that I am to let no one be a cleaver. I will fight you off, messenger. I will fight you off myself if you insist. If you wish to avoid battle, withdraw now, while you still can, or face the wrath of Gumi. Yeah, I'm going to blow out. Bye. <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying that, uh, <laughs> that, that voice acting. <laughs> you don't even realize I'm turning you away for your own safety. How sad ye are. Go, give me, and see if you can ooze some good sense over this foolish troublemaker. Oh, it's fucking gummy. Fucking <laughs> gummy. I'm gonna bite you. Ow. Ow. Hey, 
how can this be? I may, I may have yelled too a little bit too hard there, partner. I'm open to feed him, but my boy still stands. It's too dangerous to be a cleaver now. The only welcome you'll get if you approach him is a flurry of devastating blows. Normally, I'd simply ta try making him an offering. And I see but help of his two favorite foods served up with respect by his loyal warden. Yeah, it's me, of course. It's usually enough to please him and soothe the prickliest of moods. But even I, Cleaver's loyal warden, can't get close enough to give any offerings now. Now with the way Cleaver is rampaging and running amok. <laughs> I'm giving the small child, the small child with a cowboy hat, the most deepest and most accented voice. <laughs> there is nothing that an outsider like you can do. The ancestors of Cleaver, we're near in their co cohort, drew on Almighty Sinnoh's own power to protect Pokemon and people alike. So it said, it's by their grace that our clan, that any of us, still live in vast history today. <laughs> Irida, what are you doing here? As you say, Cleaver's grown even stronger, but I'm afraid that strength possesses a problem for us. If he was indeed struck by that lightning, could the bolts have been sent by the false Sinnoh that the Diamond Clan bows to? Cleaver means so much to her clan. I'd hope we could bring the situation under control ourselves, not throw our hands up and ask some outsider for help. But we must save Cleaver from this frenzy. Every moment it continues, the danger grows. If more people and Pokemon are attacked, it will lead to conflict with both the Diamond Clan and the Galaxy team. Yeehaw. You! Stranger from beyond the rift. Uh, beyond the sky. Tell me, could you galaxy people actually fix all this? Could any outsider actually find a way to quell our lord's frenzy? Nah, nah, I don't know. Your commander tasked you with investigating this mess, didn't he? Lion, Leon and I will gather foods that please Cleaver in hopes that we might be able to get close enough to make him a proper offering. As for you, find a way to quell this frenzy, even if you have to search every corner of Vast Hisui. Could you do it? Could you save our world? If you could take another step, would you do it? <laughs> I already know that game. Do love I think I think Texan Child is now my favorite character. Good to see you, Voxer. And how is your research into Cleaver going? Swimmingly, I expect. Oh, is that so? Now that's quite the tidbit. So serving of his favorite food will normally make Cleaver quite agreeable, is that it? I need to mull this over back at the laboratory. You should come along too, dear boy. Awesome. I found a bunny and a duck. That could turn into like a story somewhere. No her. Bye down just Yeah, this game is an isekai, you guys. Arceus gave us the phone. <laughs> So according to the information you were able to learn from Irida and Leon of the Pearl Clan, were this the normal course of events that Frenzy Cleaver would be cl uh, calmed by a nice serving of his two favorite foods? I do wonder, is it possible that aromas or some other components of these foods might combine in a way that could not only calm Cleaver, but draw him back from this frenzy? But by your own report, even Cleaver's warden, who looks after Cleaver and knows him well, cannot approach him in his current state. It would be a fool's game to get close enough to offer him food. Hmm, give me a moment if you would. I need some time to ponder on this. There ought to be something in my research notes that can help us. I've... So, I have an issue with this professor... I really hate his fucking hat. I cannot, for the life of me, stop staring at it. <laughs> uh, 
And then once you get over the hat, you look down and look at his stupidly striped pants. And then you try and look back up, and then you see the fucking hat again. And then you look back down. <laughs> we'll simply have to throw the food. You've quite the arm for throwing things, have- wait, what? <laughs> Elaborate, please? This is all coming together. We can use our skill in Pokeball crafting to shape cleavers, beloved foods into balls, then throw them to chip the sea. Brilliant idea if I do say so myself. <laughs> well, how about tea time balls? <laughs> Put someone in mind of a nice relaxing afternoon tea, does it not? No! <laughs> <laughs> Why would you simply call them Lavington balls? I don't like that! <laughs> Why would that day? It sound like I'm the one being launched out our fr frenzied friend. <laughs> In any case, we can rely on the Pearl Clan to get necessary foodstuffs, correct? Gurgle my balls, you fucking Pokemon. <laughs> then you should give back to the Grand Tree. <laughs> the Pearl Clan Power Clan! If you're off to... <laughs> I can't. Bro. I'm so upset. I never noticed this fucking sit in the cool was here. Oh, and then there is Oshawa right there. God, this game suddenly took a turn. Like, genuinely, I was having- I was so bored, and now, like, the story is just, like, kicking off. And now I'm having fun again. Oh, hey, you're here. My, my, that Galaxy Hall is, uh, is one fine building, even from the outside. The Galaxy team certainly got themselves a grand headquarters. I'll give them that. Oh, yes, I came because I had some news that I thought you might be interested in. Better you actually see what's going on though. Let's head to what did you end up calling it? The Heights Camp. Oh hey, it's the deer. I spoke to Rudy about what's been going on. I thought about you've been tracking all over the friendless field land seeking a way to quell Cleaver's frenzy. Uh, all this from someone who's not even part of our clan or the Pearl clan. Just some wanderer who fell for a rift into this world. And hearing that, well, you can see how he responded. I trust you appreciate it. Raiders found you worthy, you see, which means you'll need a flute like we have. Mind demonstrating for him? Oh, finally. Fucking finally. Oh my god. It's the fucking... At the beginning of Pearl and Diamond that you hear during the intro. Here. Hold on. This. And it starts. Everybody, brace your ears. Here it comes. I'm blasting it.
Oh, here it comes! Here it comes! Oh, yeah! Fuck it up! And here it comes! Oh, oh, here it comes, here it comes! just so good <laughs> it's a precious tool that can be used to call on radio so you can ride upon him it said the celestial uh, kaflutes were gifts from almighty sin outside but now this one's yours <laughs> i gotta give it to this game the callbacks to pearl and diamond are really good in this i like all of the noises that you can like in the music uh Oh, the I just I'm swallowing my hair. Ah! Ah! I almost choked on one of my hairs. that melody <laughs> opened his heart <laughs> wait I just noticed its face is like it looked like it got stung by bees Now use it celestial flute wise again. Gallop across the land with the great weird here. <laughs> You've got a friend. With weird here, you call gallop across the field. Like genuinely, look at look at him. Hold on, give me a, look at him. Hold on. Please let me look at him one more time. Look, he looks like he ate like a bunch of bees. Wait, sorry, I was so distracted about the bees. Look at him. It looks like he ate bees. Look at how swollen he is! Like a dog! <laughs> he eats into the bees. Oh my god. It's so nice to finally have a mount. And what a ride it's been. Thanks for all the good times, Shen. Here's to year number four. Holy shit, I can't believe we have a mount now. Wait, does it jump? Wait, shit, where am I going? Also, it has infinite sprint from what it seems. Which is fantastic. It doesn't control as well in sprint mode, but it has infinite sprint. Oh! You bitching ass bee barrel! Whoa! Whoa! This is actually fine. I don't have an issue with this. Hello! Oh my god, I get to do my voice again! 
So you see, uh, wait, hold on. How the fuck? Uh, so you say that your galaxy people came up with a method to try to quell Lord Cleavis' frenzy? What? What? You will mash up Cleavis' favorite foods, balls, so you can throw her offerings at him? Well, that's quite an unorthodox approach. You galaxy people, your inventiveness just blows me away. I mean, now you can make offerings to Lord Cleaver from a safe distance. I'll lend you my aid if it means we might provide Cleaver with his offering. Let's begin at once. Hold on, Leon. Don't get ahead of yourself. What do you want, bitch? <laughs> Whatever the plan is, you'll need Cleaver's favorite plump beans. I've brought them. Uh, as promised. Yeah, that's right. My apologies, Irina. I'd forgotten all about you. I admit, as we haven't been able to solve this ourselves, we seem to have little choice but to turn to the galaxy team. But even I still have my doubts about whether we should entrust such a thing to an outsider. These galaxy team people don't, don't share our customs or our values. So prove to me you're worthy to stand in the presence of our noble Pokemon. You may battle by ordering about the Pokemon you've caught in your little Pokeballs, but on my side, I have love and friendship. <laughs> and the power of anime. If you can defeat Glaceon and me, I will entrust you with Cleaver's fate. I think I don't have a Pokemon to battle you with. All my fucking Pokemon are gonna die. <laughs> ah, shit. Oh, oh. Okay, it knows quick attack. And swift. This could be a problem. Let's go. Oof! Get fucked! I see now. Pokeballs are simply your tools of choice, not products of disregard for Pokemon. You still understand the Pokemon that you've caught and to treat them as partners. I feel better putting my trust in you now, I think. Let me see to your Pokemon's wounds. Now explain the Galaxy Team's plans. What do you mean to do with these foods? <gasps> so because you have to keep your distance, you'll mash Cleaver's favorite foods together, ball them up, and try to quell his frenzy by throwing them at him? Interesting. So you've developed soothing bombs of sorts to calm our lord. Very well. If it'll help soothe Cleavis' frenzy, let's make these bombs with our very hearts and souls. Yeah. There. A variable amount of mountain of bombs. Did you please Cleaver if anything can? Now then, ready yourself and I'll be summoning our mighty Cleaver, Lord of the Woods. As am I. Uh, oh my god, I was about to say, oh, mighty cleaver, lord of the woods, though it isn't yet the time of ceremony, we prepared an offer of your favorite things. Ben Benevolent lord who works his might between the heavens and earth, we offer our gratitude. And beseech you, reveal yourself to our eyes. Listen well, Voxer, keep your focus on cleaver, and please ignore that stupid accent. Tachik will be vital. Try to avoid his moves as you're throwing the bombs. Grasha! <laughs> Those ancient Japanese Texans. Gosh dang, diddly darn. Oh no, this Pokemon looks so fucking dumb. Did that bitch just Naruto run? Yeah.
If you manage to create an opening in the noble's defense, you'll be able to send out your Pokemon to battle against it. <laughs> oh, awesome. Okay. Whoa! Okay. No, 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 no. This is kind of cool. Whoa, buddy, that's kind of crazy. Oof, ouch. Oh wait, I was supposed to set it a Pokemon. Hey, let's go. <laughs> Woo! Let's go. Wait. Wait, this is a. Hmm. Actually, you know what? Can I just... Can I just, like, slam him with these until the end? Fuck you. <laughs> oh, wait, shit. There we go. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, battling. Why would I do that? Genuinely feel that really was an oversight there. <laughs> awesome. It's the What what happened? Some kind of light erupted from Cleaver's body. Oh wait, wrong person. <laughs> Has Lord Cleaver's frenzy mind truly been put at ease now? Does this confirm that the strange lightning was to blame for Cleaver's unnatural power? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> well, this is what I think after all we've seen. We know strange lightning uh, came from out of the space-time rift the other night. Those bolts must have struck Cleaver and driven him into a frenzy after all. The lightning came from the space-time rift? But if Almighty Sinnoh really does dwell upon that space-time rift, then the strange lightning, and indeed it was Almighty Sinnoh's power? 
they were even when we were even right to try to interfere. I happily went along with this plan to create some bombs, as if I knew what I was doing. Like some kind of thoughtless fool. Outrageous. Calm yourself, Leon. Remember that the Lord of the Woods has long been our protector, keeping the Pearl Clan safe from dangerous Pokemon that might harm us. Would power sent by the true Almighty Sinnoh have driven Cleaver to turn on us and attack people and Pokemon indiscriminately? I doubt it. What Vox accomplished just now, it needed to be done. I'm gonna fucking scream. I'm glad we could settle this without further strife for the Diamond Clan and the Galaxy Team. If you come across other Pokemon in the grip of this painful frenzy, please help them. Mm, yes, fine, I suppose I must concur. I apologize for coming briefly incomposed. I'm grateful for what you've done for my lord. <laughs> in Jesus Christ we trust. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> the only thing I kneel for is the flag. <laughs> Please take these on behalf of the Pearl Clan. <laughs> Consider it my apology for having spoken rudely to you earlier. And a token of my thanks. Amen, brother. <laughs> I stand for the flag and I kneel for the Lord. <laughs> Let me care for your Pokemon as well and appreciate you for it out. Why are you kneeling for the Lord, huh? To suck his dick? <laughs> I think I finally come to believe that you truly did fall out of this guy. Though I still can't imagine the reasons to play. It seems we settled things here, though, between you and me. <laughs> I won't mind seeing Lord Cleaver in such a frenzy again. He was fearfully strong, after all. Yeah, why do you have such small hands? So you could ha hold other women's hands? Fucking lesbian. <laughs> Hello, Psyduck. How's it going? <gasps> Woo! Can I jump down here? Whoa! You fucking me, Meryl! See you later, bitch! I wish you could stun Pokemon you run into. scared of me. Hey. I'm just bigger than you. Ouch. I got hit by a bird. What? <laughs> <laughs> Almighty Starly, you a pussy. <laughs> you know, I could have just teleported here, but somehow this is fun. This is fine. <laughs> Yeah. <sighs> 
<laughs> this game. <laughs> oh shit! <coughs> I saw the light fading into the sky. You must have quelled the Lord Pokemon. And what do we have there? Could it be? Ah! Oh, those are two of the fabled plates of old. Please, let me have a look. I see there are some letters carved into them. Let's see. This one says, Where all creations was born, that is the being's place of origin. It seems to be a phrase from our old myth. How did you come across them? I see. So you were given the plates when you impressed Weirdeer and Cleaver. That is quite something indeed. My heart is practically racing with excitement. It is my guess that you will find more plates like these scattered across Hisui. If we were to gather them all and decipher the scripts on them, we may uncover something absolutely amazing. The mysteries of the past, oh, how they tickle my curiosity. What a joy to be alive in such times. Well, I must be on my way. Until next time. Wait, did I say MILF? <laughs> wait, wait, what? Hello, Shen, less than three. I'm sure you like things that tickle, Twink. Shut up. God, you're gonna embarrass me in front of my dad. What did I say? What did I say, MILF? Oh no, Grandma, are you okay? It's amazing that Captain Celine has acknowledged your potential. Thanks, Grandma. Oh, wait, shit. Did I just for there? Yeah, here. Up my star rating, ma'am! You have made progress. It seems you have earned yourself a star. <laughs> oh. Awesome. With it. Uh, fuck it. I'm dying. Have these as well. They are for the recipes you need for crafting. Awesome. Awesome. Thanks. Hey, yo. Hey, yo! Hey, yo! Dripless, drip full, dripping. <laughs> well done. I have already received the reports of your exploits. You successfully quelled Kaliva's friend, restoring peace of mind to Isui's people. You are a stranger to us, one who fell out of the very sky, yet you have served the galaxy team admirably. I admit you have earned yourself some degree of recognition. But things are not settled yet. I have received word that there are other Pokemon nobles falling prey to such frenzies elsewhere in Hisui. So carry on with your research and survey duties and prove that you truly are an asset to us. That is all. You are dismissed. Your fellow survey corps members are likely at the Wallflower. Go and join them. Awesome. Benny, old chum, the usual order. Three servings of potato mochi, please. Oh, and if there's anything else that you'd recommend, by all means, bring it out. The whole village is gossiping about Storm and uh, about your our young friend here, you know. He's got qu Dude, he's fucking shaking. Give, give him help. He's got quite some luck to have come back and unharmed after facing off against that cleaver. I just say Voxel was well prepared. And he was quite steady of how... Uh, Cleaver, move the... He was a quick... I... I'm dying. 
All in all, it was a very good show. A victory well earned. Thanks. We can feel safer going about our survey core of cities now. Thanks to your efforts. Oh, by the way, why not try crafting some of these? I made the recipe based on directions be uh, Betty gave me. Oh, awesome. Lovely. And now that we need not worry about being mauled by Cleaver either, let's take our chance to study all the Pokemon I call the Obsidian Fieldlands near home. <laughs> Wait. What is going on here? Why are you so small? Boxer. Oh, I've been waiting for you, Voxer. My name is Vessa. There's something really important I need to tell you. Would you come with me? That child is a Pokemon. I mean, this kind of a secret, but something terrible has happened. He's who he's in a whole lot of danger. Hundreds of years ago, a being that brought calamity to this region was sealed away by someone using the power of a strong mag a strange magic. But now, for some unknown reason, the magic has come undone and the seal is broken. I hate to think what might happen at this rate. So please, Voxer, hear me out. I need you to restore the broken seal. Uh, who the fuck are you? Yeah, I guess it's a normal response to hearing such a strange story. I must sound crazy, but you just have to believe me. Can I give you this old keystone anyway? It'll help you see I'm telling the truth. Vox is like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> oh. Spirit tomb. Okay. <laughs> After the seal is broken, a whole bunch of whips uh, bisp scatter across Hisui. 107 of them in total. With the odd keystone I gave you, you'll be able to gather them. Oh my god. Oh, collection. <laughs> See, the whisper is normally invisible, but not the hold over to Todd's keystone. I know it's a huge task, but please, you just have to gather all the wisps for me. There's one real close to where we are now. How about you start with that one? <laughs> See that flame hovering over there? Try touching it. Are you a fucking dead? You're dead. You're a dead child. The noise it's making. <laughs> the wisp has been absorbed into the odd keystone, just as I should have been. Huh? Wait, sorry, what did you just say? What? What? Did I read that wrong, or did she actually just say that? Thank goodness I picked you to help me with this. Come talk to me if you ever need help finding the remaining wisps. Oh, it. I think she said it. Okay. Oh, okay. I, I thought it was... She said I. Okay. Sorry. Never mind. My bad. False alarm, everyone. False alarm. I'll wait here for you while you carry out your search. Good luck. But I'm pretty sure she's still a ghost. Wow, the galaxy hair dresser really is, dare I say, cutting edge. Oh, hey, you're Voxer, the boy who quelled Cleaver, aren't you? I don't know why I decided to go with that voice. Uh, who's to say? <laughs> you can't fool I, I don't know what... I don't know what to go with, what voice to go with. Um... Oh. My. God. Ha, you can't fool me. You got quite the reputation, you know. 
I mean, you call one of Amarisino's chosen ones. Some people are actually kind of scared of you for doing something so bold. I'm Arazu, by the way. I'm a warden of the Dab Clan. My special skill is giving haircuts. Real nice to meet you. Oh, snap! But I came here to talk to Mr. Kamado. See you around! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. Hi there, gonna switch product in stock. The max revive set. No, no thanks, I'm good. No, I'm good. Alright guys. You know what time it is. I know we had a lot of fun today, but unfortunately, it is indeed 6 a.m. <laughs> and um, my nose isn't letting up, so I'm going to give it a break. Please let me know if you still want me to continue streaming this. Right now, I'm putting it as a maybe more leaning towards a no. Because, uh, you know, I, my opinion about this game. Um, so the only way to really decide is for people's feedbacks. But on that, I hope you guys had a good glimpse into Pokemon uh, Legends Arceus. I know the game is starting to come out now in the US. So if this convinced you to get it. And get hold the fucking phone. <sighs> Not the magic carp. Thank you. Galarian Weezing. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, let me know. And, uh, yeah, since it's coming out now, I hope I either made you save $60 or found you a new AFK game or etc. etc. Anyways, I'm out of here, guys. Uh, no matter, remember, no matter what your opinion is about Pokemon. Nobody's opinion matters more than your own. At least for yourself. So whatever bullshit we've been feeding you and you don't agree, don't worry about it. You don't have to. And it's all a matter of perspective and opinion. And uh, just treat everyone else like a fucking idiot. And then you're always right because that's how we're supposed to live and nobody's supposed to tell you otherwise. <laughs> Because if you think that you're the center of the world at that moment, then you won't ever have a reason to worry. <laughs> and I was saying that in a positive way, not in a, like, go be a selfish motherfucker way. But uh, when it comes to video games that you enjoy, then yeah, just care about your own opinion. But yeah, with that, I'm out. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for all the resubs. Thank you for all the subs. Thank you for all the biddies that I didn't call out. I'm really sorry if I didn't call you out. I don't mean to do it on purpose. I'm r I've am i gotten really bad. My ADHD is really fucking me. And I feel really bad every time I don't call someone out who resubs or subs or gives or gifts uh, bits or all that stuff because people are actually giving me like money and their time and their you know, support, and I feel bad that I never thank them when that's what I want to do. <laughs> but I'm out. Have a good... F f what day is it? Friday. Have a good Friday, gamers. Goodbye! 
be rootin', be tootin', and by God, be shootin'. But most important of all, be kind.